Hello chat. Welcome to the Eek finale. On this fine Sunday afternoon. Yes, I am going to play the Doom Wad. Um, I figured that this this game could end at any moment. Um, I couldn't trust it to hold up for a full stream, so I prepped the new funny Doom Wad. You know, the, the new smash hit um, mod for a 400 year old game that everyone in the grandma is playing now. So I thought I'd look at that if we finished early. Um, and I hope that we do, because otherwise we'll have to change the thumbnail. <laughs> Doom is an eternal game, and more so than just Doom Eternal, yeah. For 20 pounds from JD. Thank you once again, JD. I swear stream day comes earlier every year. <laughs> uh, it, it does, in fact. I, I make a point of, of shifting it up in time a little bit each time. Um, there's two endings, save around December 30th. Sure. I mean, I'll be saving a lot regardless, but I'll, I'll do that. I don't know anything about my house wide, by the way, except that it's inspired by House of Leaves. That, that's all I know. I haven't looked at any footage of it, so... Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna, like, boot it up and, and see what happens. All I've confirmed so far is that it runs on my computer. I, I managed to get it running, so... But we, we gotta do Yeek for now. Yeek is the order of the day, so let's Yeek. Just as soon as... Oh, my controller wasn't plugged in. Oopsie doopsie. There we go. Alright, so, uh... This was just like an endless gauntlet of counting down the days until New Year's. And, um, a lot of people in chat were saying, Please God, just, like, sleep. Just go goblin mode and sleep every day, um, which I, I probably will end doing. I should ask: Is there any particular level I like need to be at before end game? Otherwise, I'm fucked. Oh, cool! You got a. Uh, you saw a dream about my stream after the last stream, and it was I was doing a mood cast where you would play chat, or I would chat or play games depending on your mood. Isn't that just normal Twitch streaming? <laughs> that sounds like a description of perfectly normal streaming. I was playing a, a piss easy pizza tower level for some reason. I need to be at level one. Oh, I think I missed that boat. Yeah, heek out, go heeky mode. So I guess to do that, Today I'll... Do I get experience for going in here? I should check that. You're glad it's almost over. <laughs> the attitude you want to have with a, an RPG, a beloved indie RPG. Uh, how do I see how many X points I have? I have a little bit. Huh. Don't be sad it's over. Be happy that it happened. I'm yeeking out over the fact that it happened, personally. Okay, we were firmly in the auto-level grind set at this point. Just completely checked out. I'm glad that I'm able to witness the end of Yeek, says Mook, so I won't be able to be here next stream. Uh, I'm not sure what we're doing next stream. It might just be uh, the fucking Asriel Pizza Pants fan fiction for all I know, but um, I know people have been. I didn't really set any. Oh wait. You're out the question. There's a demented voice. Me either. Don't you mean me neither? That's why I'm here. There are no questions here. No one to bother you to do stuff. I like it here. It's peaceful. Nothing. 
Sorry, I can't really do the voice of the ancient reptilian brain from Disco Elysium very well. Hmm. Sweet fuck all. Oh wait, that wasn't anything. It really was nothing. Are we yeeking it up? Uh, yep. Is that the TikTok AI voice? No, I think that was a human. I'm not sure what the TikTok AI voice sounds like, though. It seems like people reference that no matter what. Like, people have said, like, oh, does Halfbred Chaos use the TikTok AI voice? And describing that as the TikTok AI voice, like, how many different things does this voice sound like? Can I, if I give you, like, a dollar, can you give me the last XP point? It's really inconvenient to have 99. Ay, ay, ay. All right, nothing more to do here today. Um, exit the mind dungeon. Okay, well, I should, I should experiment, I guess. That was a whole day taken up by that, and I have so many days to go, man. So many days. Um, your mom's a TikTok voice. Exactly. What's my opinions on hammerhead sharks? They're cool. They're cool looking. I like hammerhead sharks. Um, so, it, worth experimenting to see if this does give me any XP, because I didn't know how many I started with. Hey, Two Brothers, the, the album art has the uh, the funny goat man from Tears of the Kingdom on it. <laughs> it's definitely not just a goat. It, it's specifically the, the goat man from Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, wait. Uh, I forgot how... Oh, I, I missed the phone and interacted with my my video games. Shaddock is hyped for Yeek Finale. We're making this happen! <laughs> yeah. I'm never quite sure what the Spaz voice should be. I just, I just wing it each time. I warned you about stairs, bro. All right, um, once again, I have failed in my task. I just want to go in the mine dungeon. Oh wait, no, I interacted with the door to go to the mine dungeon, despite the rest of the game being you interact with the phone, but okay. Uh, do I like cilantro? Oh no, there's, um, what you need to, de to determine my genetic makeup? Well, if you phrase it like that, well, no, it's a, yeah, okay. I don't like cilantro. I I'm of the uh, the genetic subset that finds it tastes like soap. No black nail polish in chat. Very sad. To the immediate response to that reference to Raru was goat boyfriend. By the way, very nice. Uh, yes, Mind Dungeon. I want to see if it gives me any XP. That's all I was saying before, is I didn't have a reference point to see if it actually gave me XP or not. Even one XP would be enough. What the fuck is a cilantro? Says chat. It's an herb. Uh, it does not give me any XP. I just wasted a whole day. Which is, is the goal, to be fair. Shouldn't Raru be an owl? He was? Oh, is he the like the, the, the guy with like the big eyebrows or who am I thinking of? They just like reuse Zelda characters willy-nilly, they do whatever the fuck they want. I don't care. I like the funny goat man with the really big ears. I think he's funny. He's like a long lost relative of the dreamers or something. <laughs> One might call him the the black sheep of the family. Oh. Between the end of that strange winter. Auto cutscene. New year. My life went on without change. It sure has. <laughs> Mike's just like floating in his chair over there. It looks very ergonomic, actually. Also, Zelda's ancestor. Yeah, it's uh I interesting. I don't know. It's. 
I, I'm just not sure what to make of like the whole goat DNA in the royal family. I, like I know royal families in the real world have some like weird genetics going on in general, so it's probably accurate. But I just wonder if like occasionally a, a child gets born to the Hylian royal family with like a little horn coming out or something. You gotta wonder, right? The day would dawn, and I would repeat my alternation of spending time with my friends and honing my powers in the mine dungeon. Yes, the life of a. Uh... The average um, unemployed single male. It rained a lot last month. December's uncharacteristically warm, sweaty days ba, ba, only added ba, to the anxiety ba, 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 ba. Aside from the weather, there was hardly anything to distinguish one day from the next. Each day we trained, we hung out, we read the newspapers, we read about deaths, shootings, kidnappings, bombings. I worked at concentrating my attention on the real and useful. God, he's like describing COVID lockdown, not the 90s. He's just doom scrolling in the 90s, man. Even with all my friends with me, every now and then I would feel a violent stab of loneliness. The very water I drank, the very air I breathed, would feel like long, sharp needles. I think that's bad. I think you might want to get that looked at, Alex, but I guess there's not any time for that. You have to train for the end of the world coming up. Are these people supposed to be Alex's friends? <laughs> That's a really good way to put it. Yeah, they are technically, by definition, Alex's friends. Oh yeah, they, they cut off the horns like an Elden Ring. Yeah, maybe that's what happened in the Elden Ring uh, royal family too. They had some goat DNA way up on the family tree and no one wants to admit it. I could hear the roots of loneliness creeping through me when the world was hushed at four o'clock in the morning. It was never a metaphor for crown spurting at all. It was just like someone fucked the goat a hundred thousand years ago. Christmas was coming. And then, in a few days, the world might end. Could I really be the end? Um, I'm really eager to find out, Alex. Because I, I don't know exactly what that means either yet. I was starting to love the world so much. All of my friends, my mom, even my sister. You have a sister? He keeps mentioning that he has a sister, then I forget again, because it's like, it's so inconsequential. Even my sister, who I hate, I was beginning to appreciate off-screen in her absence, you know. Everyone seems so much more special when I realized how easily they could be lost. What's with goats and royalty? I don't know. I mean, like, I was going to say, what do you mean? But like, we have the dreamers and the, the Zelda goats, so I guess that's... It's weird that it happened twice, you know. Are there any other royal goats anyone can think of? Uh, oh, Shadok is just replying to Remnant asking how to make her Tamagotchi stop shitting so much. Uh, that's good. Lucifer is king of hell. Is it confirmed that he's a goat though? Or is that just like some sort of... Uh, uh, d demonized pagan effigy that happened in the, you know, the Iron Age. I don't know. Are goats inherently regal animals? I wouldn't really think of it that way, but that's Baphomet. Yeah, that's what I was thinking is like the... I guess there's there's various reasons to associate Satan with goats. It's just supposed to be like he's the the beast, you know, animalistic. Ox king and Dragon Ball. Yep, yep, yep. Same thing. Okay, I want to go. It's gonna drive me crazy if I don't get that last like one XP point. I'm gonna go beat one enemy. Oh shit! I clicked the wrong button. Oh well. <laughs> Exit the mine dungeon. Cool day, Alex. Satan's a goat in Isaac? Yeah. People have pointed out that the Satan statue is actually a... It's, it's a depiction of Baphomet. Which is some other demon. It doesn't really matter, though. I mean, there's... It's not like you can go and look up a photograph of any of these guys. It's all interpretations. Uh, yes, okay. Kill one Wimson and then I can... I can heek out in peace. You just joined? Why is Alex's head opened? That's the mine dungeon. Don't you have one? That's Alex's schedule, yeah. 
wake up, enter mind dungeon, go to sleep, set alarm for 5 a.m., shit pants, throw shit pants at wife in bed, wake up, type GM into the group chat. Go to the, uh, up into the left of Alex's house for a reference. Ooh, I love references. Come at me, kill me now. Enemies, random encounter, kill me. I think I hunted the enemies to extinction in this side of the map, actually, so I'll have to go further out of my way. It's eat, sleep, mind, dungeon, repeat. It's the grind set of the, um, the apocalyptic prophet. The snow looks pretty cool. I mean, it's... I, it looks like snow, I guess, yeah. You have to find an enemy with the Toby Fox song. It happened frequently enough. This is the Yeek Obliteration route. There's only one route, also. Uh, Belphegor is very bad. Are you discussing demonology or like characters from Hell of a Boss? I, I can't be sure. <laughs> you could be saying like literally this one demon from the uh, Ars Goetia is bad because he is a demon and commands 69 legions of hell. Or you could be like he was an abusive husband in the a Vizzy Pop cartoon. It's a toss up. I guess I can just go to this monster dungeon here. Oh, he's the demon on the toilet from Persona. Never mind, that guy's cool. Okay, it's just a bunch of samurai pizza rats. Let's fuck him up. What's my favorite demon? I don't know all the demons. I didn't read any of the demonology manuscripts that for some reason my university library had. Uh, I did- I, I stocked a lot of the shelves with them though. Like, I, I restocked the library shelves for a job and, uh, several times I had to go to the demonology section for some reason. Someone was studying that shit. You gotta do one un unassisted dodge to warm up for the yeet, you know? That must have been Caddy and Chris? Yeah, basically. It's probably some sort of like a the theological studies Charger. course that required the material, because there was quite an extensive section on that. Mel wishes their local library had that. It was, a, it was a university library. I don't think they get that at your public library. Remnant recommends the Lesser Key of Solomon over uh, the aforementioned demonological textbooks. All right. I mean, I heard the, the series went downhill after the Greater Key of Solomon, but um, I, I recognize that the Lesser Key has a niche fan base still. Alright, that was my one XP I needed. I'm going back and I'm sleeping for the rest of the month now. Anyone find that hashtag relatable in chat? Gonna tell me that's relatable? I've done my task. It's time to sleep for 16 hours a day for the remainder of December. Zip zoop. There's my relatable in chat. All right. The irony of the conversation is that the latest Hell of the Boss episode released yesterday. Oh, it did? I had no idea. I haven't watched any of that show at all. I just know people like the, are very invested in the relationship between the, the funny horn demon man and the funny owl demon man. Um, 
Okay, someone said I have to go behind Alex's house, so I'm gonna do that to find the uh, the secret lab with heavy Delta Rune connections. So uh, I guess in terms of the actual ending of this game, the remaining unanswered questions are like, how does Alex end the world? And also, what is the deal? That's the last unresolved thing really is Michael's like Mandela effect bullshit he's on about where like the world has become wrong and different and there's been a few hints of like a a sort of Mandela effect. Oh, this guy's not even communicating with me anymore. <laughs> He's just like stonewalling. Um, so yeah, I I'm assuming that'll be addressed at some point. That was the best explanation about Stolas. Is that a, a ship name or just a character? I Hell of a Boss has been downhill since Season 2 started. Ooh, I know that feel. I watched Log Horizon once. And also several other shows that describes, probably. Okay, no more 4chan. You've had enough fucking browsing 4chan. Last stream degenerated into madness. It was just like me browsing random uh, in-universe 4chan articles while chat asked increasingly deranged questions. Stolas is the owl guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, I thought so. Stoliz, though. It's I, I, I read Stoliz, not Stolas. That's the ship name. Yes, finish the current day. I killed some rats. Just like Ishin Ashina would want. And I got one XP. What is ATHF? Someone's describing a show called ATHF. Can we ask for words of encouragement again? Just do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams! You're breathtaking! Etc. If you had the power to change your fate, would ya? I don't know if that's encouraging. It's just like proposing a hypothetical that may or may not apply. Uh, that's Aqua Teen Humberfort. Uh, Aqua Team Humberforce. <laughs> that's it. That's what you meant. That's uh, ATHF. You're so encouraged. Humber is one of the thousand plus emotions, isn't it? I re-encountered those recently because I made a a small Thalison plus joke for the video, which is becoming very close. Humber's the whale? No, that's Humphrey. Humphrey is the Omori whale. Not to be confused with Pumber. Yeah, that... I, I don't know what Pumber is. It seems to be some sort of in-joke in the Celeste modding community, but there's that one level in the Grandmaster Strawberry Jam Pantheon called Humber. With a really sick background music. That's actually the one that I tried, um, I spent a solid two hours attempting it and got like most of the way through the first room. So that was kind of fun. Alright, looks like I'm maxing out at level 41. I hope that's enough. You know, in Epic Battle Fantasy, 40 was the max, so I think I'm fine. I'm assuming this game takes direct inspiration from the, the lineage of Epic Battle Fantasy. Cat yelled at me. No idea if my super chat went through. Uh, you mean the one earlier, the 420 pounds? I think it did. I, I did read one from you, JD. Unless you had a second one. There's 50 levels. Yeah, I'm not grinding 10 more levels. That sounds... Or will I? No, I kind of don't want to. Fuck that. It's a trap. It's, it's just a mind trap for completionists. I don't care. 
I, I will go and just like cheese the final boss with time dilation. I think I beat most of like Earthbound and stuff. I think I was pretty under leveled because I just I was so determined to avoid fighting enemies <laughs> after a while that I just got under leveled and it turned out alright. Don't go any further than 45. The secret boss fight against Sans Undertale gets exponentially harder the higher your level is. That would be funny. Someone got to level 70 in Eek? Why? Can you, like, canonically just take over the United States at that point? You're, you're so powerful, you can just, like, fight the entire military and become the dictator? That would be sick. Go explore the town. I changed my mind. Alex would beat the entire US military. At level 70, he sure would. <laughs> he walked downstairs and back. God, this is such a strange way to end the game, man. Very, very strange. It's like twice as long as it needs to be. Imagine being able to dodge tanks. Yeah, all you have to do is press X when the, the little bar goes into the red part. It's not that hard. Oh, let's check if that one person is still on his day off. Yeah, yeah, I should actually. The only side quest worth uh, following up on. Shadow of Rose Raid wants to skip ye can go to myhouse.wad. Don't be hasty now. I didn't stream this for like five weeks for for nothing, just to play some Doom maps. Man, why are you bugging? Don't you know it's my day off? Oh yeah, it is. You know it's his day off. All right, now that we have closure, we can end the game in peace. Hey, where are you going, Treebeard? chat member has been warming up to traditional turn-based combat RPGs. That's cool. That seems to be a perennial topic as whether turn-based combat's good or not. I think the only consistent answer is like, it depends. Oh, you watched the video I recommended in the community post. Yeah, I'm glad. That, that was a good one. Um, I saw that Actually, that was, um, the person who made that, uh, Molly, she, I encountered her on the, uh, the little server that, um, that Mystic set up for the Delta cast, because she works for, um, Halfbred Chaos as their editor, so, uh, it, it kind of surprised me when she just came out the gate with her own, like, this, this, like, crazy hour and a half long gaster video that was really sick. Uh, it was definitely worth a show, though, because that, uh, it really got me hyped about gaster lore again, you know? It's it's hard, sometimes your investment fades over time, like you get... Basically you get gaslit by like the community into uh, certain modes of thought, then you, you revisit a certain area and you're like, Oh no, that really is quite promising and interesting. Um, I like it when videos do that. Gaster fatigue? <laughs> gaster lit, exactly. Wait, what gaster video? I oh, did not say that one, Mooks. It was a. Uh, I made a. My last community post was shouting it out. It's by Molly Stars. It's an hour and forty minutes of talking about gaster, and it's part one of three. Apparently, it's like a five-hour-long mini-series about some uh, some gaster theory. Um, yeah, you get excited about Gaster a little whenever you wonder why he's dancing so crazy. <laughs> Me too, buddy. Alright. You can't imagine ever having that much to say. Well, you can see why it's so long. The first video 
is basically just a huge evidence aggregation sesh, uh, which is like, honestly, sort of my, my favorite content <laughs> is just when people go over and like they gather a huge amount of relevant evidence and like organize it really nicely and put it into one concise format. Um, it's, it's really good because oftentimes if you do that well enough, you don't even really need to push your conclusion. Like it just sort of falls out of, um, out of the ether because you, you've put all the evidence like in, in the right order. And it's like, oh yeah, that does seem very reasonable now that, you know, Gaster is actually the one controlling the outer shell of the game. And, and there's two layers of, of reality and, and stuff like that. Um, but I think that the, the later videos are going to be going into the actual theory part, which is, I, I'm not sure what that is yet. Chat cannot wait. Oh, is the third video of the theory? Oh, maybe the first video is only chapter one, come to think of it. And maybe the second video is chapter two. I'm not sure. Uh, you wonder if the original Umris author is aware of the Umris extended universe that has grown out of it. Um, there's a decent chance. I know that it was mentioned. There, Someone posted like... Um, part of the 4chan thread where it ostensibly originated from and there was someone saying like, ah, I can't believe Umris escaped containment, so the the original people who knew about Umris were on this uh, 4chan like, sus board, basically um, and so I'm sure there's a bit of talk in there about the the containment breach and if, if the uh, original author is still active there, then he's probably aware of it Uh, chat has an inside source that says the theory is that Gaster forced Chris to kill Azriel. Because <laughs> it would be, and I quote, sick drama. <laughs> Susboard Among Us reference. Damn right. It's weird that they're posting all this, like, horny Deltarune fanfiction on the Among Us board. I've always pronounced Umris as Umris. See, people... <laughs> If you're gonna write out like the, the phonetic pronunciation, you have to write it in a way that's actually unambiguous uh, in its pronunciation. I see that a lot. People are like, you pronounce it this way, I pronounce it this way, and they're like indistinguishable because you could pronounce them both ways. Umris, yeah, there you go. That's what I assumed you meant. I just wanted to be pedantic. Like someone is asking how I pronounced Magus from Chrono Trigger. And they were like, is it Magus or Magus? I was like, <laughs> what, are, what, what are you trying to ask? Okay, I just don't want to miss December 30th. I should check the time now. You pronounce it Ralse? I pronounce it Ralse, yeah. Oh, we're still like ages away from December 30th, damn. JD skipped a perfectly good Vinny stream on the off chance I might play my house. Well, I'm glad I vindicated you. I really don't... It, it's weird that I'm playing my house. It just, like... I like House of Leaves, and um, I have played Doom Lords, so I know how to install them, kind of. So that was basically it. I was like, yeah, I might as well try it. My only experience playing original Doom is just fucking around with the Russian Overkill mod. Because it's really funny. Um, I haven't actually played uh, just through the normal campaign... So I probably suck at the game, but it, it should be fine. Support the variety streamer turn. Variety, it's all right. There, there's not really any overriding game plan to the streams. There, there's no marketing timeline. They're not supposed to accomplish any goal. They're just I for fun. In the middle of the night. I thought I'd heard sleigh bells far away, like the background of a Christmas song. Oh, December holiday reference. Chimes, maybe? A church? I sat up in the bed and felt for my panda. Oh, he wants his panda. He was still asleep. He slept more soundly than I did these days. How would you review being a streamer? Well, I'm not really a streamer. I stream once per week. That's not even, like, part-time. Um, it really is just sort of like a hobby thing, but... Um, I enjoy it. 
it's pretty good. It, it might become exhausting if I tried to do it more than once a week, or like every day especially, but uh, I don't know. I, I find the, I look forward to the streams. They're just kind of fun. They're just, they're just nice usually. I sat still and listened hard, but the only sound I could hear was the faint, dry thumping of my own heart. If it's dry, you might want to get that looked at again, Alex. You're saying a lot of really worrying things, like the water tastes like needles, your heartbeat is dry. Like, there should be blood in that, Alex. Did Alex bring Panda to college? That's a really good uh, question. We need to know. Streaming can be tough. Um, if you're not approaching it with the mindset of, like, you have to grow and get followers and stuff like I, that would be stressful then I think but I'm really just I don't really have any goals and so I, I find it very relaxing honestly there's not a whole lot of stress involved um which is the advice that I mean like usually if you ask big streamers how do I start streaming and they'll say uh don't just do it for fun don't try to grow your audience which is like not the advice anyone wants to hear obviously um but it, there's an element of truth to that. Uh, what was it? There was a message in chat that I wanted to read, but it, where'd it go? Oh yeah, I felt my very soft panda on top of me as I slept. I love my snuggy wuggy. <laughs> so, a little bit heartwarming. Months ago, I hated when my heart raced. It either meant I was nervous, or I had been forced to exercise against my will. Hate when that happens. That's changed. With all the time I've spent training in the mind dungeon, everything feels clear. It's weird that he describes it as training in the mind dungeon. Like, you don't train there. You just go and level up. Maybe it's, it's like just, it's supposed to be training, diegetically. My mind, my muscles, everything was coming into focus. Your muscles. I guess you hit a lot of things with discs. I don't see you doing any push-ups, though. I lived for the moments when I could feel my heart beat. I became excited for every pump forcing blood through my body. Mm. I felt alive. I was going to hold on to this feeling as long as I could. Well, that's Where did nice. Where music come from? Maybe I'd been dreaming after all. You mean the ba 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 I thought back to earlier in the summer. I used to dream all the time, but lately my dreams were fevered and confused. Ooh, ooh, make an indie game, Alex. Isn't Yeek just a coding bug? What's the big deal? Well, in this game, it's the end of all realities or something. Something like that. Heart palpitations. Yeah, that may be a panic attack, but if Alex is enjoying it, then I don't see any reason to rain on his parade. I missed when I dreamed of the Essentia 2000. I wondered where she was. That's it. Yeah, where is she? Does she like just go and, and sleep in the garage? I don't know. Where did she go at night? Yeah. Why didn't she ever stay with me? I mean, the, the second part is a, a different question, but uh, yeah, where did she go at night? Where do transdimensional androids go at night? Panda. Maybe to the day dimension Panda. where it's not night. Wake up. Oh, what time is it? Anxiety issues tend to mimic heart issues, says chat. Yes, I can confirm. Uh, unfortunately, through personal experience. 4 a.m. Oh boy, 4 a.m. What's wrong? Is the house on fire? No. Where do you think the Essentia 2000 goes? <laughs> the the pan-dimensional androids uh, get a bit quirky at night. Probably to stay over a hotter guy's house. Fuck, you're right. You think so? Think she has an android boyfriend out there somewhere? Oh, yeah. Yes, probably. Go back to sleep and dream of metal sheep. Quick chat, what's a hot android boyfriend that you would ship with the Essentia 2000? You can't say Metaton. Metaton would never date a basic ass android like the Essentia. Raiden from a metal kid? <laughs> That's good. Queen. She's she's way too boring for Queen. 
The one from Dragon Ball Z. I mean Z. I mean Z. Gender Bent 2B. That's the ship we're going with. All right. That sounds good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cap'n from Sweet Cap'n Cakes. That's the perfect ship. Stop there. We're done. He's a player, not a CD player. We got it. Jay went to Ikea yesterday and bought the exact same spinning save sign as Alex Eek. I don't even know what the save sign is. Like, I can't remember it. I just saw it, but I, like, I don't consciously perceive it. Today I'll rot in bed. <laughs> Um, maybe I got experience for some reason. Let's just check. Might as well. Mooks is putting this idea in the, the notepad so I can draw it when I'm more awake. Uh, oh, Essentia X, um, Captain. Gotcha. I look forward to that if you ever draw that. Uh, I don't have any XP though. Can you give me a discount, Crow? Like, I've been your buddy this whole time. I'm the only one who talks to you. The mind dungeon literally depicts Alex as completely brainless. <laughs> it's not diegetic though. Uh. Is Alex wearing fake glasses? I, I don't know. How, how can you tell? I missed the uh, the save icon again. I think whenever the game loads, I just look at chat, so I never look at the save icon. This feels like speedrunning a visual novel. It does. Uh, well, actually, why did I say that so confidently? I've never played a visual novel, let alone speedrun one, but this is how I picture it looking. It, it's very depressing, and I didn't want to do it the previous stream just because of how, like, well, I, I won't say there's much immersion going on in Yeek, but I... I, I, I kind of dislike, um, in general, I have problems with doing things in RPGs that I wouldn't do normally, like it's, um, like, like in Disco Elysium even, uh, I found it really hard to, like, roleplay a version of, uh, I don't know, c call him Raphael, that, that wasn't just, like, what I would do in that situation. Uh, I, I naturally am inclined toward, um, trying to, uh, immerse myself a little bit, I guess. Go inside. Play Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Right after Umin Echo. That should be a quick little couple streams before I get into the Sonic one. Talking about Yeek immersion made me think of the con uh, concept of a Yeek theme park land. One of the rides is that you get immersed in a vat of yeek fluid. First playthrough for any RPG for me is just me, but with the most boring playstyle. Kind of, yeah. Um, Disco Elysium is a bit scary, actually, because if you play it like that, it'll diagnose your political compass and make fun of you for it instantly. Um, it's a bit disconcerting in that way. Usually RPGs don't do that. Um, if you want to be safe, you just roleplay as like a, a, a T-posing Marxist parody. And then you're good. We are all the boring moralist cop. Yeah. One of the rides is based off Alex and Rory, it ends with them smooching. That would have to be like one of those love tunnel rides, but at the end, like, if you're actually kissing, a staff person, like, hits you with a broom until until you stop, because Alex and Rory don't actually kiss. You really gotta try this Disco Elysium game. Ooh, cutscene. Hey, Michael put a shirt on! It's December holiday now. I mean, Christmas time. They all got redesigns. Very cool. 
thought he was looking like a, I don't know, like a, a waiter at like a three Michelin star restaurant or something. The suit vest, very slick. Oh, it's, I think the background music is just Hark the Herald Angels Sing, but weird. All the characters have to have red in their designs, I've noticed. Even now, like, uh, Chandra's wearing a red belt. It's, it's like um, the unifying characteristic. Uh, speaking of Visco Elysium, did you see that someone translated the novel with a professional translator? I read it last week. Uh, what novel? I into what language? I'm not sure what you mean. Uh, two bucks from Remnant to say Merry Christmas, guys! Uh, thanks, Remnant. Uh, the holiday spirit is, is in the air for sure. I'm just happy that Michael put on a shirt, frankly. He has a lot of chest hair for a, for a high schooler. Before making the game, the author wrote a book in the same universe in Estonian. Oh, yeah, that would need a translation, wouldn't it? I, I hadn't heard about that at all, actually. I did know the uh, the creative lead was originally a novelist. The, everything about Disco Elysium is so cool, dude. Like, the, the, the story about how it was conceived was, like, the, these Estonian band bros are, like, in a hotel room after doing a, a cool Estonian band show. And they're all depressed communists and also Estonian, as I mentioned. And they just go to their band hotel room and they're like, Yo, dude, let's roleplay and design a, a new fictional setting from scratch, just like on the spot. And they just sat down and spent the evening like just world building collaboratively in a hotel room. And that was Disco Elysium's world. And like, yeah, we should make this into a thing. And like they tried to make it a novel. Then like, oh, yeah, I think a video game would be a chill medium for this vision. And they just like made it a video game because they thought it would be cool. Depressed communists tend to make the coolest depressing fiction ever. That is unequivocally true, yes. Disco Elysium stream? I've already played it. Uh, there wouldn't be much of a point. Wow, I can't believe another year is almost over. I have to make the shitty disclaimer, of course, though, that if you buy Disco Elysium now, I believe the original devs don't get any money because they got fucked over by their producers or whatever, so... Uh, you know. Just take that information into account. Don't remind me. Where is Rory in this? Oh no, wait, I, I missed him. He's in that chair over there. With his weird lumpy pants. So, are we gonna do gifts or what? There's Disco Elysium fan games? Oh my god. Are they any good? It seems like it'd be really hard to replicate the writing in Disco Elysium with a fan game. It's a good question. I guess she ain't much of a holiday person. Oh wait, she's going on a date with Cap'n. Well, I called all her gifts. <laughs> Would any of you like to hear a Christmas story? The shirt comes off in the in the dialogue sprites. A Christmas story? You mean the the that one uh, the movie about uh, the Oval Teen? No, oh, I've watched that like two hundred times, Michael. I, I don't want to watch it again. Why not? For Christmas 1996, my mother got my dad a computer. It was a really good one, too. You shoot your eye out, kid. He used to do all of his writing on a word processor. The ones with the really tiny screens where you could see seven or eight lines max. Mm. So anyway, my dad unboxes it and freaks out. He was so excited. And you know, I fell in love with it right away. Whenever my dad left the house, I'd get on the computer and play games, browse the internet. Or invent 4chan. In 98, for Christmas, they got me my own computer. No one else has their own computer. It was amazing. It's because they're all busy playing Ocarina of Time instead of doing whatever you do, nerd. I made a friend online. Together, we founded Anism 1999. Christmas 96 was supposed to be JD's birthday? Did your parents miss? 
I want to kill Proto Michael with a rock, says chat. That's good. The, the homicidal tendencies tend to leak out in late game eek. You want to hear the really funny part? When I went and lived all of my parallel lives, I was him. Oh, I, I was on a computer talking to me. Oh? Now tell me, how the hell can a computer connect to a chat room that is in another reality? You'll have to wait a decade for Homestuck to come out to answer that question, Michael, I'm afraid. Something is screwed up here, guys. Michael, now might not be the time to talk about this. Dude, this might be our last Christmas together. WD, Michael. Ever. And you want to waste the talking about this? Yeah, let's just uh, talk about the weather or politics or whatever we usually do, guys. That would be really cool, I think. We could play Yahtzee, I guess. You guys have to tell me you've noticed it too. <laughs> yeah, Michael's pointing out everything is strange and fucked and everyone just ignores him because they're not interested. <laughs> it's like when you talk to actual, like, conspiracy theorists. It's just... <laughs> How to convey that you just, like, don't really give a shit. He, like, he's probably right. There's probably been, like, a Mandela effect and stuff, but, like, whatever, man. Do you honestly feel like things are the same as they were two months ago? Two years ago? Dude, things change. That's like... You're all intentionally not seeing it! The very fabric of everything has changed! It's like one day we were cotton, and today we're made out of metal! That's interesting. Hypothetical. Things are so different! Can you give us an example, Michael? The original version of the scene was funnier because it jarringly switched between casual music to mysterious music when Michael freaks out. You mean back and forth? Like, just going to serious music would be one thing, but like, it, it, the, the music went back to Christmas carols, like when he stopped freaking out? That would be really funny. I enjoy the chill music over this, actually. Like, a, some sort of d distorted uh, synth in the background, just playing Hark the Herald Angel Sin. Okay? Why the hell haven't any of you asked why the entities were driving the android around? Are you just talking about, like, unresolved plot holes, Michael? Because, like, I wasn't going to ask. I was just ready to accept, like, yeah, whatever, man. So what? We save her and we just forget about it? Exactly what happened, that's true. Why was she in the van in the first place? For fuck's sake, Michael, no politics or reality distorting revelations at the Christmas dinner table. It's sad that it has to be enforced, yeah. Bella, you said it yourself. Soul survivors do not kidnap people. Oh yeah, what happened to Sammy? Anyone remember Sammy? I forgot about her personally. She got kidnapped by soul survivors. They didn't kidnap Sammy. And they didn't take the Essentia hostage! Oh, yeah, that's true. Michael's bringing up a lot of unresolved plot threads. Something it would have been. Something is weird here! It's like strange things are happening all around us, and only I'm actually noticing it! It would be nice if you brought this up. I don't know. Or earlier, we spent like a whole month doing jack shit. They. Look. We just need to find the Ascension 2000 and ask her how her body ended up in the van. <laughs> Alex that looks simple? so done right now. <laughs> you could have asked that a month ago, Michael. Let's finish opening up gifts. Tomorrow, we can sort this out. Alex, he just took some, uh, you know, THC gummies. He's, he's spaced out. Did they have the THC gummies in the 90s? He probably just had to smoke weed back then. That's what we did. We exchanged gifts. I was with Michael in this one. I, you can tell because I, I said nothing the whole conversation. Something was and don't wrong. care. I couldn't place my finger on it. I wondered if this was how people with dying family members felt. A sense of dread. Uh, I guess? But it wasn't a sense of dread I was feeling. Oh, okay. It was a loss of self. A complete dissolve of everything I had ever known. The only thing that was a step beyond death. The the Christmas music is getting gradually funnier the more unhinged this like cutscene gets. The only thing that was a step beyond death. Da, 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 da. People die. Reality, the color of the sky, the sound of the trees, your memories. 
all remain the same. Yep. This was different. This was beyond unusual. And I also kind of haven't noticed it. This this issue only exists when the characters bring it up every two weeks. Someone thinks to make a big deal about this, then it stops being a thing at all. And I forget it exists, and they bring it back up again, then it's like, oh, this is worth earth shattering. Then the cutscene ends, nothing happens, alright. Uh, cool. Yeek is the game where characters see and feel things the player cannot see. It's reverse dramatic irony, yeah. Uh, which, you know, it's just, it's like the Deltarune narrator does intentionally, right? It's There is a man here, Lamau. <laughs> I'm not telling you what he looks like, but he's here. But this, it feels like, yeah, the, the characters are experiencing, like, emotions and arcs that, that aren't actually making it through the screen for me to empathize with. It's like they're just completely on their own, it, living a different version of events than I'm actually privy to. Yarmy glad we asked the essentially about anime instead of all this shit. <laughs> Michael could have brought that up whenever he wanted and just asked, but no, it's like, is, does God exist? Like, who cares, man? There's a switch behind the pillar. You do not get to know what color it is. Exactly, yeah. This is the true meaning of postmodernism. Well, there is a satisfying character arc here. <laughs> well, there was not a satisfying character arc here. They just don't ask the Essentia. The Essentia is like missing now? I don't know. Maybe the Essentia is just gone forever? I have no way of knowing because I, I can't actually make contact with any of the people outside of like scheduled cutscenes. They don't exist in physical reality. It almost feels like Michael's trying to go for a meta commentary angle on like the end game of this experience feeling like uncanny and, and shit, but honestly the a lot of the game has felt like that, so I don't know what it's going for here. I I don't know what normal is in this game. To, to the enough that I could experience what like abnormal feels like is part of the problem, right? Like if this is meant to be uncanny, then at some point the game would have had to show me what canniness feels like. Check my party? Oh, she's in my pocket apparently, but she doesn't actually exist. The Essentia that is. The spacious pants hole. Check the new equipment. I got equipment. Arm cannon. She does not have an arm cannon. That's like the one thing she doesn't have. She has a, a Rudolf von Stroheim torso gatling gun and a, a big Final Fantasy sword. I can give her a helmet. Nah, keep the bike helmet for sure. Uh... Occupy Bank Street. Oh, why does worry need strength? What the fuck does that do? Eh, I mean, the stats, like, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it doesn't really matter that much. There you go, I have a better camera, Michael, that I'll never use again. The game was like, hey, why were you suspending all that disbelief? You really needed to suspend to get into this, idiot. That is exactly what it's doing, you're right. I was trying to put my finger on it, but that's like a very concise way to put it. It's like it's calling into question all these things that I was just going to accept, because the game... It, it has no reservations about throwing random shit at you that you just have to accept and not think about, but... Now it's like, the these couple things that weren't followed up on. That was important, why don't you care more? It's strange. Rory's a protester, even though he's a shut-in and never goes outside. Uh, to be fair, that's a very realistic characterization of a certain type of person. The Essentia's trapped in a jar just like the pocket, Rani. I don't like where you're going with that, JD. Why do you have to bring the jar into it? 
Like, you could be referencing your own, uh, like, you know, ACDS bit where you trap people in bottles, which is funny, but there's other... Uh, other connotations of dolls and jars. And the golden alpaca, like, that's never been followed up on. What the fuck's the golden alpaca? The game is anti-disbelief from the start with the bizarre enemies that no one reacts to in the world map that looks like nothing like New Jersey. Yeah, like there, there's a million things in this game that you just have to not question. And then, but some things that you should be questioning, I guess. The golden alpaca is an alpaca, but golden. Rosary, why are you wondering that? <laughs> I think the answer is pretty obvious. They have a, you know, I, th I think someone made a rule about that once. What is the goal right now? To pass time. That's the goal. Literally the only goal is to wait until New Year's. What do you mean there's no golden alpaca rule 34? Have you checked all the sites? <laughs> what a fucked up thing to ask. Go, go check, make sure there has to be. Don't come back till you've looked at E621 and Forfinity, I swear to God. What's the big furry one, asks Outsen. I think I just listed both of them. Of course I know. The archives are incomplete. <laughs> Oh, you claim it doesn't exist? Name every place it is. <laughs> yeah. The Jedi archives are indeed incomplete. Why is the alpaca on the Christmas tree? I don't know. It's funny. Uh, JD found exactly one. See, JD did it, but it was for the original alpaca. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Was it at least like the muscular one with three heads? I'd prefer if it wasn't just the default alpaca. <laughs> you, you had to bring this up, Rosary. GD doesn't want to talk about it, that's fine. Why is a picture of a flea in Alex's house? Um, I don't know. Her mom... Her mom? I, uh, I, I did it the French way a second there. Alex's mom has a thing for stock photos. She's like uh, Rose Lalonde's mom. Are the dishes done yet? Why is mom... Like, past tense. Mom always kept the kitchen clean. We never got to eat the cookies. I know, they're, they're like fossilized right now. They're turning into crude oil. Mom died yesterday. We just never talked about it because Alex hates his mom. The Jaru approach is that Alex killed his mom. Yeah, off screen. Okay, one more day and then I save, I think. And then I, I save for the end game, because apparently I want to see all the endings this game has. I, I don't guarantee that I, I do, but I'll do it anyway. I'll save. You ready for the Jaru Yeek video? Um, Jaru just put out a video about Gravity Falls. That that would be... Um, sounds kind of cool. I, I think I've been working on that for a long time, actually. It's like a big review of all the episodes. I don't know if it's a tier list or not, but he, he said he put a, a lot of effort into that one. Rosabrid watched the entire Jaru Gravity Falls video this morning. Well, how is it? It was great. That's good. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad it was good. 
the Mandala effect is that Alex's mom died years ago. Okay, so this is clearly different now. I, oh, I took my phone away. I can't save. The hamper won't stay empty for long. It will. It stay, it's been empty for a year, Alex. You haven't changed your fucking shirt. I saved like two days ago, though. It's fine. It doesn't really matter. There's also been that voice on the phone. That There's another unanswered question that I'd just forgotten about because it's been so long since it was relevant. Hi, Alex. Uh, it's me. So, haven't you asked yourself the question yet? Is this the same question from the Mind Dungeon? You know, the important one. Who is this? There's a lot of questions, but which one's the important one is what's indecipherable. Can I at least save the game? No. Oh. Hi, Can I explain? It's Sammy. Oh, it's Sammy. You gonna pull the strings and make him ring, Sammy? Have you been taking care of my cat? Yes. She is still in my pocket, and I throw her sometimes to fight enemies. Sammy? Where are you? Okay, this is- it's getting a bit interesting. If the whole game was like this, just like mysterious shit on the phone and Alex freaking out, I could vibe with it. Like, you know, things happening, story progressing. I enjoy that when that happens. Is it gonna ring again? I can't leave. Can I play the piano? An out of tune piano. It would have been fun if Alex had learned to play the piano. He's got a lot of free time. Son? Dad? Dad? Where the hell have you been? We were worried sick about you. You said you were just going to bike to Justin's house. Claudio and your mom are freaking out. Oh. Dad! Hmm. Did you figure out the question? What is go screw yourself? <laughs> was that like a ligma? Was that like who is Steve Jobs? Is this the appropriate time to uh to do a reverse ligma? Chandra sibling. Yeah, there someone in chat hypothesized before, which seemed kind of random at the time, that um Alex was the it seems like the game is implying that Alex was a significant person in all the other characters' lives, like in an alternate reality. Like alternate reality Alex was the missing sibling of um, Chandra and Claudio, and also the guy who ghosted Vela, and probably some other dude that Rory knew maybe, who knows. Um, which is weird. I'll, I'll say that much. Yeah, the Chandra had a dream that um, that her brother had red hair, which is like, yeah, that's pretty on the nose, yeah. I just don't know what exactly that means yet. Like, what's the point of that? Hey, Alex, it's Sammy. Oh, she's back. Did you remember to pick up my cat from the dry cleaners? Uh. I think Alex is having a psychic break right now. It's not the best. This is cool, though. I like my surreal indie game ending storytelling. You can always count on indie RPGs, even if they get like they, they sag pacing-wise, you know? The ending is always where they put the budget in, so maybe you could really pull out all the stops here, do something cool. Is it ethical to dry clean a cat? Um, they don't like being wet, so perhaps. Why was there an exclamation mark? My mom says this represents childhood. Can I go anywhere? Who are the six people? Actually, though. Like, we know that Alex used to have a dad and used to have a sister. Well, or still does. I don't know what she's somewhere else, but that's only four people. Who are the other two? The cookies. 
Is that it? Can I check my bathroom? Nope. My mom is not home. The secret room. Of course. I think Yeek Mom's just at work now. She got a new job. Hey, Roy, it's Jane. Fucking Homestuck Act 6. Ah, get it in my head. Did you know that I died and it's all your fault? Pretty screwed up. Pretty colors in heaven. Oh. Hey, it's Chandra. Have you seen my camera? I've had the weirdest dreams. I've been dreaming that I'm a boy. Dreaming that I'm a boy. That dreaming boy, I'm a fan. That boy dreaming. Isn't that funny? What is that? That is funny! Paul Stretch is always funny, but that's kind of creepy. Kind of creepy. Uh, so they're, all the Yeek cast are getting fucking reality scrambled now. It's like Chandra is Michael in that world. And I, I it's, I, they're doing something. Like, they're doing something, all right. Garbage noise moment. How do I trigger the next phone call? It seems arbitrary. Can't wait for Deltarune to do this. Me neither. Because it'll be a lot cooler, I think, when Deltarune does it. There it is. Hey, Alex, it's your mom. When are you coming home? Claudio's waiting for you to watch some cartoons. Surely Michael's aware of this, though, if he's experienced all his parallel lives. Like, My Michael knows that he used to be Chandra or something. Hey, Alex, it's Michael. Oh, there's Michael. Have you seen my hula hoop or my headphones? Yeah, they're... Also, I've been thinking about changing my hair. It's getting so big. Was Michael trying to do, like, a black person voice there? <laughs> maybe, maybe a little bit. Okay, that's normal, Michael. I'm stuck in the mine dungeon! <laughs> and I can't get up! What is happening to me? Oh, that's... Michael! Uh, oh my god, okay. How long does this go on for? This is getting wacky. Hey, Alex, it's Sammy again. Oh, it's Sammy. Hi, Sammy. I can't find you. Where did you go? You left me at the elevator and you vanished into the crowd. Why do you always disappear on me like that? You know how much I hate that. Reality is collapsing over the telephone. That is a, an accurate description of the scene. Um, so it's like... Ooh, yeah. Ooh, who were you on the phone with last night? This is not the time, Panda. I don't even know. Didn't I dream that? No, Alex. Please, don't deflate the tension. Man, I wish I dreamed that. Talk it out. Why do you think you are getting all those strange calls? Because they're you from different realities, I'm assuming. You're just getting mind blasted with all parallel lives at once. All the karmic debt you have accrued is crashing down upon you in a universal confluence or something. Just something like that, hypothetically. I have no idea, but Panda, have you noticed how weird things have been? You mean, like, weirder than usual, Alex? Because no. You mean with all the soul survivors, androids, and long-haired punk kids you've been rolling with lately? No, even before that. When do you think it started? When the game booted up. Well, I guess around the time I came home from school. Well, from starters. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> How am I supposed to know what's changed? And I know this could be just a coincidence, but I didn't see my mom for weeks. I noticed that. When I finally did, she changed, and I found myself saying some really ratty things. So, and that was abnormal. I wasn't aware that that was abnormal. Mostly normal. Lamp shading? This, yeah, is it lamp shading or is it was it intentional the whole I don't know. No, it wasn't. Something is weird. Where's where's my dad been? Don't you remember? 
Hmm. My dad worked for Pacific Chime. Not my mom. Oh? No, my, my mom worked for Moon Macro Systems. Well, she does now. They met at that programming convention. When did my mom start working for Pacific Chime? You don't have a dad. Yeah, I do. Of course I do. Everyone has a dad. Then where is he? He's... And then Michael. When did Michael move back to Frankton? Didn't Michael move away when he was ten? When did he move away? Michael. Ah. Nineteen, a tall, witty, brown-haired white guy. He was a few years younger than me, but I never felt like there was much of an age gap when we hung out. The summer he moved to town, we spent a lot of time together. I was back when my sister and I would spend the days outside until the sun went down, counting the accomplishments of those summer days based on the number of mosquito bites and caught fireflies. This is kind of fascinating. Kind of cool. I'm interested. Michael had moved to the area when he was 12. 1991. The year Michael Stipe of R.E.M. sang Losing My Religion. That was what the, one of the first phone calls was about. Was someone, Alex, hanging out at someone's house listening to that song. It was a peaceful green street at that time. Not a single thing to claim your attention. A handful of little white houses with a few fences. A stream full of crayfish. A two-lane road they pretended was a highway. Barely a yawn of a shopping center. A yawn. What a colorful turn of phrase. That was it. Most houses had maple trees planted in the yard and brand new, not yet beaten fences. And there were all those giant billboards advertising the mall they'd be building right off of 82. The house he moved into was a mid-century model style, built sometime around the late 80s. Okay, okay. But what, what, what was the make and model of his car? The exterior painted in three shades of green had faded handsomely in the sun and wind and rain to blend in perfectly with the surrounding countryside. There was a huge yard and in it several stands of trees and a small pond. There was a quaint little octagonal arbor in amongst the trees that had been used as a studio. Is that like a gazebo? Its bay windows hung with lace curtains faded into a nondescript color. Okay. Down by the pond, daffodils were in righteous bloom and every morning birds came to bathe. Are you, are you writing this down, chat? This is going to be on the test. The first owner of the house, also its designer, had been an elderly oil painter. But his lungs gave out on him and he died the winter before Michael moved in. That was in 1990. The year Billy Joel sang, we didn't start the fire. Michael was my best friend until I was... Didn't he move when I was 12? When did he move back to Frankton? Why is Michael back in Frankton? Didn't they move to Canada when his dad got that publishing deal? He sold his house, right? Didn't a cute girl move in there? Come to think of it, didn't you and Michael have a falling out? He moved away, you went to hang out with him, and he had given you the wrong address or something like that? Huh. Yeah, sort of. He had me meet him at a mall near his house, and when I got there, he never showed up. That was the last I heard of him. Huh. You should go ask him. What time is it? I don't know. It's dark outside. The clock says it's 8 a.m. Weren't you going to meet your friends to head to the city at 8.30? Shit. Okay, let's get going. Oh my god. I wasn't chatting through the cutscene because it was actually sort of interesting. <laughs> That's how you can tell if I'm not just talking over it. Uh, yeah, so, okay. This is neat. It, it's it's cool that this is actually paying off. It, it it definitely wasn't, like, really foreshadowed well at all. Like, it, it, it's a bit cheap to say, like, all these things from the start of the game that were just not thought about very hard or, or were plot holes are actually plot relevant. I guess it's kind of cool. I don't. I don't know. Well, we'll see where it goes, though. We'll see where it goes. Um, even more House of Leaves. Is this House of Leaves? A little bit. <laughs> I. I don't know. It. It's hard to remember all the different facets of House of Leaves. There's a lot going on in that book. Uh, 
Uh, oh, it's a, <laughs> okay. I interacted with the video games by accident. Look, oh, I forgot to look behind the, uh, oh. Hi there, sir. Alex, dear, the little girl next door who moved into Michael's house was looking for you. Yeek, Dad. So that's what Alex's cheekbones look like if he shaved. Dad? That's my name. Unless you can think of a better one. Oh. Maybe something with more shimmer, like Antonio von Engelstando. Or Rafael Ambrosius Costo. Where's Mom? <laughs> <laughs> that never gets old. Gaster Dad, I guess, yeah. Uh. Outson remembers a part of House of Leaves where Johnny describes a random house in the same way the Navidson house is described. Yeah, yeah, I, I can see the angle you mean now, yeah. Um, th there's just a lot of of stuff in House of Leaves, so it's like... It's, it's very easy to say this reminds you of House of Leaves and often hard to say why exactly. Yeah, why is he doing that to his head? <laughs> okay, um... Is it gonna lampshade the cookies? If, if the cookies come back and it was all a big mind game and Alex is like, Wait a minute, that platter of cookies has been there for 11 months and I haven't thought to eat them yet. And that's part of, like, the, the Mandela effect. I don't know, I'll give the game one clap. I'll clap once. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's different. Check behind the tree. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a tree anymore. At least batteries still exist. Oh no, there's the tree. There's a man here. Oh look, it's Sammy. Hey Alex, you found me. Wow, took you long enough. You wasted so much time looking for me, but I have been here all along. In your front yard, hiding behind this tree. Now it's your turn to hide. Oh yeah, I wanted to say, I love you. <clears throat> nice, Sammy. That's gonna be how Gaster is revealed in Deltarune too. He's just behind the- Oh, hey Chris, it was me the whole time. I was hiding behind the tree giving you eggs. Uh, this is kind of wacky. What's- oh, there's just an invisible wall. I fulfilled the requirements to get another ending? Bruh, I don't even know what the normal ending is. It's mu much like this game, I don't even know what the normal state of affairs is, so I can't call out when shit's weird. Oh, there's an evil, uh, I don't know, dude there. <clears throat> hey man, what took you so long to get here? We've been waiting here forever! What's going on? We're going to see the ball drop in the city, duh. We've been planning this forever! You okay, dude? You look terrible. Yeah, maybe you should sit in the back seat. Far away from me in case you bark. Seriously, are you okay? Yeah. Let's let's get going. <laughs> yeah, I'm just okay. Man, tonight we are gonna party like it's 1999. <laughs> Man, I can't wait to kick off the new millennium in style. Is this just home stock? Says chat. I don't know. <gasps> I can't remember the last time I did something fun for the new year. We should leave now if we want to get shopping in before the new year. How can you even think about shopping? Wasn't it just Christmas? Exactly! All the best stuff is on sale now! Oh, yeah. As we drove to the city, I knew something was wrong. No shit, Alex. Looking around at my friends, I felt as if I was looking at poorly drawn pictures of them where the artist's crude abilities had just barely captured enough of their essence to show me who they were supposed to be. I also feel like that because I have eyeballs. I looked back. Something had been wrong for a while now. Why did I feel like this? Why was it that when I looked at Bella, I felt as if I was looking <clears throat> at someone else altogether? Because she's been drawn by a, by a child, I don't know. When I looked at Proto-Michael, 
I felt like I was looking at a beautiful image that was stained. His features were too rounded. Uh, Frodo Michaels, you, you pronounce that, I guess. That's it. It's part of the name, okay. Claudio, Chandra, how are they even talking? I looked at their mouths moving up and down and felt a strange detachment to them. As if they were speaking a foreign language without making a sound at all. I uh -huh. turned to the Essentia. <clears throat> her face felt blurry and out of focus. Have you figured it out? Uh. No. What's happening? This reality has already started to break. But this didn't start today, did it? I see. So you have noticed. Only just today. I'm pretty oblivious to things I don't want to see. If you haven't noticed. Well, I've been griping about several of them, probably. Just you didn't notice because I'm in a different reality looking at a computer screen. So, would you like me to clear some things up? <clears throat> of course. Give it to me straight. Chat says it would be more interesting if Alex was oblivious to the situation and acted normally since we already see the weirdness. Um, yeah, it's... It's hard to say what you would change to make this hit harder, like, because Alex... It, it just feels weird that, like, the characters are aware of this, but I am not. Like, I haven't felt the weirdness. Um, and so they have to explain it to me, how weird everything is, because I don't just understand that intrinsically. Um, which maybe is part of the point if they if this really was just all to call out the fact that like you've been suspending your disbelief and taking all this for granted but haha it was a trick none of this actually makes sense ginger people don't exist in real life you know that that kind of thing when someone leaves the reality a place for a new soul to enter that reality becomes available our souls are in constant transit if we do not enter the soul space and take direct control. So this Michael here is not the Michael from your childhood. Proto Michael is, as he is a combination of all Michaels. So did the old Michael leave this reality? Hmm. No. This reality is shattered. Lost souls in the soul space are slipping in and out of it. Oh, so... Claudio and Chandra? Believe it or not, what the Essentia is monologuing about has been foreshadowed, albeit poorly. I think I get the impression that's the case, yeah. That is one I'll let you figure out yourself. It will be good for you. It seems like it's blown so wide open now that like anything could be happening. It's like you have an arbitrary number of realities, an arbitrary number of versions of Alex, Everyone he knows could have random doppelganger clones that are just in the story or not. Allow me to start at the beginning. You belong to this reality. So does Sammy. When Sammy left, Vela took her place. Oh, she literally didn't exist until then. I see. Or didn't she? No, she, she started existing when... This is weird, man. Like, you, you couldn't actually go to that side of town before you uh, did the thing in the abandoned factory and Sammy got sucked out. So you couldn't physically look at Vela until that. So I, I guess that that makes I sense. I took advantage of Sammy leaving this reality and forced my spirit into this physical space. Understand so far? Yes. Sure. Michael, like Rory, Chandra. Claudio, and myself, are important to you in every reality. When this reality broke, they entered. So, a version of Michael, Rory, Chandra, and Claudio all come to this reality. For what? To find you. To find me. We're going to help them. But they didn't realize it? It seems like they don't themselves realize when they've gone to a new reality. How? This reality is broken. Where's the reality with the golden alpaca and SFW? <laughs> That's a good question. And from what I can tell, it's been broken for a long time. I do not know. So is it just like everything that doesn't make sense is because 
the reality was broken and it was just copy pasted from a different reality where it was different. That's kind of not the most interesting explanation if that's all that this amounts to. We must first see what form you take to destroy this reality. I thought it was going to be I mean I was assuming there's some sort of meta meta angle here like it was paralleling something what is it though god I don't want to destroy this reality or, or any reality why does it have to be me if it wasn't you it would be me or rory or claudio okay i'll kill all of you then and then myself we are all capable of destruction we can create or destroy mystic slime wow never saw this game before this rpg looks insanely postmodern. oh yeah it, it is trust me um so what does that mean? Anyone will destroy reality? Okay. Is ultimately yours. But it's not, because if I don't destroy reality, then someone else will? <laughs> what? What do you mean? Then I choose not to destroy this reality. That seems like an easy decision, yeah? Excellent. Now, if only your parallel selves agree. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, who are they? What are they doing? I spent the duration of the two-hour road trip ignoring the happy and excited laughter of my friends. I was playing uh, the events of the past year over and over again in my head. I thought back to when I first arrived in Frankton. Everything felt so different. Oh yeah? Seeing Michael again, it seemed so normal for him to live next to me. Then we met Bella, and that felt the most real out of all the things that had happened so far. You mean the, the best written? <laughs> what are you talking? What are you getting at? I thought about Sammy. What had she been running from? Why did she leave this reality? Probably for the best. This reality has gone to literal shit. Why was Sammy so upset? It looked like she was being abducted, not that she was leaving herself. Like this, it just doesn't line up with what that scene was like. Can you explain to me what postmodern is? This is my first Yeek stream. Well, you you sort of just look at it and it's postmodern, I guess. That's how I describe it. You look at Yeek, postmodern. Everyone is destroying their own reality every time. I don't know. Maybe? Is this the UN where it, it takes a single alternate Alex to veto the don't end reality? Maybe? I don't know. How many are there? Seven? Infinity? I don't know. Did she perhaps sense that the end was coming? Was her reality torn apart along with mine? It's the same reality, though. She was from your reality. What do you mean, her reality? Uh, wait, okay. I think actually, though, postmodernism is just... Um, essentially rejecting the, the modern conventions of a genre, but like modernism itself was a, it's a thing, like modernism is no longer modern, that was sort of back in like the end of the, the 20th century, whereas um, postmodernism is basically just taking the conventions of, a, of an established genre art form and rejecting them to make a point, deconstructing them, that, that's the idea. So, uh... <laughs> At its worst, it, it essentially becomes the the game's uh, bad on purpose. I thought about the mind dungeon. I had never heard of a mind dungeon before, and yet I accepted it. Yeah, like, I just dial three three three, and you'll go inside a physical version of your mind. Yeah, but what about the emojis, Alex? What about the Funko Pops that you fight for experience? And you can toughen up and learn to do magic. Magic. I hadn't found this strange. I don't know, Alex. It was also obvious from the start. This wasn't my reality. Y you seemed to think it was fine. I was gonna go along with it. Mind dungeons. Cats with mustaches. Beautiful women who come in and out of my life. Mysterious pan-dimensional androids. The third one is the strangest of all. This wasn't my life. Of course something had to be wrong. I had sensed it all along. But I was so intrigued by the fun and mystery of it all. Okay, okay, be. okay, yeah, yeah. Uh. Oh, we're- is this a fucking, like, Ghostbusters on the end Nintendo? Like, New Year's Eve. isn't that what the map looks like, like in that game? Reality. Okay, what the fuck happens now? So it is try- it is- this is meta, I believe. This is supposed to be meta. It's- it's like calling- 
into question just the concept of an RPG, I guess? Just, like, of magical realism? It's like, you accepted the magical realism, but why? You shouldn't have accepted that. Which I don't know how meaningful that is, or whether they're going to say anything meaningful with that yet. I'm skeptical. It seems like it's the kind of, like... It's asking why I didn't pull the magic xylophone thing from the, uh, was it The Simpsons or something? It's like, why why wasn't why wasn't I questioning the fact that uh, Alex was playing the magic xylophone that could play a different note if you hit the same key twice? If, if it is indeed questioning me, or if it's, maybe it's not really questioning me and it's just like, wouldn't it be fucked up if this happened? Which, to be fair, is kind of how I describe Undertale's approach to meta narratives. So, um, I, I guess there's nothing for it but to press onward. I hope someone got fired for that blunder. You were supposed to say this is not realistic. I will not engage with this narrative. That's what Alex was supposed to say, at least. I don't. I don't know about me. Level of violence is 41. Sanity check me. Is this supposed to be a reference to the fucking Ghostbusters game on the NES? Or is this what this looked like? Uh, I can't go there. It's like a maze? Let's say yes. What? Oh, oh, there they go. I followed my friends, wishing I could tell them how I was feeling, but I knew it was coming. What are the lyrics? I think it's like, uh, but maybe you're gonna be the one that saves me, because after all, you're my Y2, I mean Yeek. Close one. Food district, okay. Your city has a food district? I don't got one of those. Welcome to Town's Diner. I guess I'll buy lots of spaghetti. I have $10,000. I can just buy $10,000 of spaghetti. Why not? What's stopping me? Can I do this faster? Oh. I'm trying to do it like the FromSoft character creator technique where you... You can't accelerate it. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> it doesn't go any faster. I'll settle with 99 spaghetti. <laughs> Will that be all? Yes. <laughs> Just come up with a wheelbarrow of spaghetti. Alright, we're prepped now. Enjoy the new year. The Dancing Gastro GIF is almost the same BPM as the song. Oh, it's pretty close, yeah. No, I didn't mean to go back. I keep- no, I, let me out. I want to leave. There's this- you can get stuck in a loop here if you press the wrong buttons. No, I don't want to go back. Let me out. This is the soft lock. It's the last line of defense. It's like Sans' special attack here. You just get stuck in the spaghetti diner for all time. Outdoor enthusiasts. Am I supposed to be like gearing up for the uh, the final boss now? Like, why not? Buy the Masamune. Sounds good. Six thousand dollars. Yeah, I'll take it. You need that to kill the Chrono Trigger guy. Or is it the Muramasa? I kind of forget actually. There we go. I'll give that to Claudio. Enjoy the end of the world. Only plus 10 strength? Eh, that's kind of a ripoff. I still don't know how to switch with the party members. I've like lost that technology, so... Oh well. Um, 
Is there anything meaningful to do here besides buy gear? What's this? I, I don't give a shit. Just... Let's just go. Food district. Food store. But what's to the right of the food store? Postmodern alley. Um, wait, what was in the food store? I gotta check. I mean, I thought that would be progression and I would just loop, but... There was already a food store. Masamune was the name of a guy who made swords, all of which were named Masamune. <laughs> kind of an awkward naming scheme. Imagine fighting with a magic sword called Cunningham. I guess that's like the Khaled Fulch or whatever it's called in, uh... Homestuck. Survive the night? Would this reality continue to exist? What would happen to our souls? I wish I could jump inside their brains and make them remember, but were these even the same friends I was with the past year? I don't know either, Alex. I don't know anything anymore. Are there stakes anymore? Like, I don't know what we're trying to save of this reality. <laughs> Is there anything left to save? Ooh, Times Square, that's cool. Uh, there's a, a meteor coming. There's a, a parody of some anime up there, that's cool. What does that say? Nin... I can't read the font. You should have put a, a purple border around it, like on my thumbnails, so you could read it better. Is that little hand supposed to be there? This is kind of a cool scene. Uh, I'll give it that. Like, the presentation is cool here. We have the Essentia 2000 on the, the billboards. At N on the Super Motendo. Does she have, like, uh, spring boobs? In that that ad there, the Essentia has like magnetic coil boobies. Interesting. It's eleven fifty-five PM. Why are there oh, it just looks like there's random random deviant art illustrations on the billboards up there. That's just like someone's cat girl OC. <laughs> These could be like from Homestuck fan comics as far as I know. We're all going to die. I don't know how, but I can feel it in my bones. Get the Megalovania tab ready? I'm not playing Megalovania for this. So it ends. This is what we've been training for, Alex. We just have to fight the Meteor like that one One Punch Man episode. I think you can one-shot the Meteor with a, a, a really high beatdown combo. I think we have a shot. It really is just Alex's face on a Meteor, holy shit. Gotta imagine Majora's Mask, but it's just Alex? Has someone made a mod for that yet? I really want to see that. Oh wait, it's become Majora's Incarnation. What the hell is that? Oh. Oh my god! Oh my god is right. This is all so familiar! That's not the right sprite for the, the rant Sona. Switch the sprite, Michael, quickly before they notice. It's going to be really dissonant if you're using that sprite while you're screaming. Prepare to fight. This is it. This is the end. Alright. Okay, guys. We trained for this. This is the fight. It's just like a, a PNG of Alex on a, a meatball. That's the final boss. What do you mean we trained for this? Isn't that Alex's face? Holy shit. That's what Rory said. That's what's on his mind. Wait. Everyone, it's back to it. it's back to being Proto Michael. God, th what the ha what's happening anywhere, man? Michael, you're back. He's back. Never left. Oh, <laughs> okay. 
Holy shit! I remember everything now! Okay, good, they remembered. <laughs> In the split What's second happening? before the meteor hit them, they remembered the plot. Hope that means you all remember what's going on here. What's what's going on, man? If the characters can just fluctuate between being or not being themselves at a moment's notice, like what what am I supposed to think of any of this? Come on! Let's knock my ugly mug back into space! Just like that one one punch man episode! I remember thinking This is how we die. What should have been a bright future is nothing more than a bunch of kids who thought they could make a difference. A bunch of kids who fought a losing battle. Okay. Oh, loading screen tip. Showering can remove body odor. I will defeat you. It doesn't even have unique lines. The final boss has stock dialogue. That's not as scary as I thought. Rory died. Uh, well, that's not a good start to the fight for sure. Uh, luckily, we have Chandra, though who can spam healing items. This is actually a pretty good lineup for a serious fight, uh, to be honest. Probably better to have Vela instead of Sensua, because she can banish the entities faster. But uh, Chandra and Rory are, are actually quite good for party comp, I think. This went from 50 to 0 real fast, says JD. Yeah, the, uh, the flailing... Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tooth man final boss is a little bit of a a tone shift. Alright, let's come out swinging here. I'm not opening with tactics, I'm opening with seeing how much damage I can do to this fucking meteor. Yeah! Oh, it sinks to the open <laughs> to the theme song, that's so cool. Okay, that was a really bad start. It does take damage. Soul survivors don't usually hit for jack shit, actually, so... That goes hard. I wish that actually pulled off a decent combo instead of just whiffing, though. Mom, can we have rivers in the desert? <laughs> yeah, this game is uh, well known for not being Persona 5, it's true. The singer sounds like he's the from the Pogues or something. They sing in Fairy Tale in New York. Ah! Spread the item. I wonder if this gives us a heal, even if um, I use like a revive. I have a full revive, don't I? Sure. I, I want to see if this heals the party, even if they aren't dead. It doesn't. That's a bit of a bummer, but okay. But now we got the tank up. We can recover from this. It sounds like Weezer. The song feels off key? Well, the whole song can't be off key. The singer might be able to be off key. Have I been to New York? I have not. Uh, so I don't know if this is accurate. The singer is struggling. I'm just gonna pretend this is by the Pogues, okay? That this is what they normally sound like, and people like the Pogues, so. God, the distortion. Record-breaking combo. Nice, I can one-shot with an absurdly long combo. You my power, lame-ass human, says the final boss. I'm slowing down time. When does it appear? That's really janky to slow down time for that. There's something so amateurish about the music that I genuinely love it, says chat. It's kinda, yeah, it's... 
It, it, it isn't as bad as, like, I listened to the original one for that Soul Survivor fight in the abandoned factory with Michael, and, like, it's not as bad as that one. Okay. This time for real. Your ass is grass, Mr. Comet. Oh, I... I didn't equip the the good EP. That's actually a blender, because this thing limits my uh, max combo potential a lot. The one-hit wonder record. That was actually a huge fail on my part. Epic fail. Because I could go to like double those numbers if I had the uh, the mystical LP Ultima Legend or whatever it's called. This has to be a joke. I, I don't know if it's a joke or not. That's the the trick with postmodern, right? You don't know if it's bad or if it's bad on purpose. It's probably both. Spread that item all over the place, Chandra. Um, let's use that spaghetti we got. Deploy the spaghetti, Chandra. She's just smearing spaghetti, just throwing it in the air like confetti. Everyone tilts their head back and the spaghetti falls in their mouths. With this, like, being our final boss theme playing, we're just like sucking down spaghetti. This marinara sauce splattered on all of our faces <laughs> as we're swinging our weapons. Look out for number one. New victim. I love using cheats to make the game easier, it's fun. World record combo, holy shit. That's like Alex level damage. She's gone. She's just gone. That's bad. Uh, we- oh fuck, get out of here, Michael. Uh, no, I have to do that with Michael's turn, I guess. Look at just the, the dancing around. The Benny Hill theme, ostensibly. This does remind me of some other song, but I can't think of what it is. Okay, Michael, get the fuck out of here. You're not rooting this for me. All right, Claudio's back, wielding the Masamune, the sword that seals the darkness. Fucking deal with it, Claudio. The half hour long attack animation is gonna be worth it when I deal 200 damage at the end of this. One damage. All right, good job, Claudio. I'm glad I put you on the team. Holy shit. Claudio. Get the fuck out of here, Claudio. I never want to talk to you again. The Essentia currently deals almost like more damage than Alex, because I nerfed him so hard with that, uh, clipping that one-hit wonder. Surely Porto Michael has some new move? Well, you'll never know. One d oh my god, okay, no one can even hit the comet except for Alex. Okay, Claudio per performed a valuable service there by giving his life to save us one more turn. I think we definitely have the, the DPS to race this thing, if that's what it wants, wants me to do. Or maybe we don't, I'm not sure anymore. Oh fuck, that's the wrong move. Is it a scripted fight? Dude, I wish I had the, the mystical LP legend. I could at least, like, try to, uh... One... Oh, has it just become invincible now? Maybe it is scripted. Can you banish it? Get out of this reality! What is... Fuck is that sprite? Why does it look like that? A 
winning? Okay, what happens now? Wouldn't it be funny if I just won? It does nothing. Great, cool. Thanks for telling me that after I did the mini game. Okay, bye, Vela. Keep trying, Alex. Cast Snowgrave. We need to cast Snowgrave. No, it's invincible. There's nothing you can- Okay, fucking Michael, God damn it! He came back. He doesn't even have a new move. Fuck you, Michael. I hate you so much. The Essentia is recharging. Oh, unfortunate. Do that, it does nothing cool, nothing else does anything either. You train for a month for a fight you can't win. I'm, I'm glad I stopped grinding after a certain point. <laughs> that would have been really annoying. I love having to wait seven turns for a scripted battle to end, yeah. Did the comic have to be making a fucking, like, soy jack face? Maybe it is just a reference to the uh, Majora's Mask moon. Wait, did the comet miss? Did we get an extra turn because the comet missed? Toby's ears are bleeding. Yeah, they made some interesting decisions with the soundtrack. Oh, it's targeting Alex. Oh shit! I might die now instead of my friends! Alex, you will not perish. Take me instead. Why don't, why don't these have voice acting? Final boss battle, man. Get the voice lines. Epilogue. Oh, uh, hell yeah. We're on Outset Island now. with chromatic aberration turned up to infinity. It's gone. Everything is gone. Yeah. I'm all that's left. How did this happen? Well, Alex, you see you... You couldn't do enough damage to the... the meatball. And your friends got sent to a... turbo hell, I guess. Um, and that's basically what I remember happening. How can I have everything in one moment and be so completely alone the next? My world destroyed. That's rough, buddy. I am destroyed. What are you going to do now? Hey, Panda's still here. We can live alone on this island forever. You and me. What do you say, pal? Yeah. You're right. That's a terrible idea. That's a terrible idea. Where do you think the Essentia 2000 is? She got banished to a, a hell dimension. But I really wish she was here. And Bella. And everyone else. Wait, don't banished entities go to the mine dungeon? Maybe I can just get them back. Fucked up, man. You fucked up. Everyone died. Because of you. Damn it! I knew I should have equipped the Mystical Ultimate LP Legend and one-shot the final boss. That was my only chance. I did fuck up. This music, though. 
Is the piano at least back in tune here at the end of all things? I can't even interact with it. That's how fucking out of tune the piano is. Nothing to do there. There's a big panda in the way. I can save over everyone's deaths. Enter soul space. That's the only option. So we still have yet to see why reality was destroyed or what it meant that Alex did it or, or anything, really, uh, but I'm assuming that'll happen eventually. There's literally nothing else I can even interact with besides the phone. Do I have tools? No, I, I don't got nothing. There's literally there's only one option here. Do it. Enter soul space. Astral project. This is all because I failed to purchase groceries. You're right. I finally understood absolute loss. You mean that one webcomic by Tim Buckley? Video games, music, TV, expensive record players. All of these material things have value, but they can't be valued above the people in your life. Bella lost the man who hurt her. Sammy lost her mind. Rory lost his sister. What had I ever lost? It's a funny thing to grow up with everything in life. When I was four, I vacationed to Italy one summer. I did every year for the next two years, and you know how much I appreciated that travel? You guessed it. I didn't appreciate it at all. I mean, you're four. <laughs> it's hard to appreciate much when you're four years old, Alex. I wouldn't beat yourself up over that. I met a kid in college <laughs> who had never left the state. He said his parents didn't take vacations. I didn't realize people didn't travel. I didn't realize how much I had and how little I had done to earn it. <clears throat> Every year for the next two years. That is a really weird way to phrase it now that you pointed out. Now that there's nothing here, I realize. I realize what a little shit I was. I thought about my soul and whatever the hell that meant. Did I even believe in souls? Well, I did to a certain extent. I think the problem is people of a hundred different ideologies say different words. Soul means one thing to one person and something entirely different to another. Buddy, I know what you mean. I make Deltarune YouTube videos. Holy shit. I thought about my mom, my sister, about Vela, Rory, Michael, Chandra, and Claudio. Yep. I thought about all my friends from college, my past girlfriends, teachers, random people on buses. They were all gone. Simply gone. Gone where? When you die, you don't enter the soul space. Soul space isn't heaven or anything stupid like that. It's the place between places. Oh, right. We established they go to Buddha Hill because they're capitalist. No, that's not entirely right, though, is it? The place between. The place between places. That's a uh, banger track from the Omori soundtrack. There was nothing left for me here. And yet, I was scared to go. But what was the alternative? If I stayed here, I'd die and starve. I'd go insane from the loneliness. The only place to go was to that place between spaces. The soul space. But how? You, uh, it seems like you lie in bed for a long time and eventually just dissociate. That's the kind of how it was described. How do I do with this? How do I separate my brain from my body? Chat says, this is a strange part to start watching. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make that much more sense in context either. Uh, it's probably fine. <clears throat> How can the physical and metaphysical be separated? What happens to a mind lost in the soul space? Let's find out. What becomes of it? There's so many questions I should have asked the Essentia 2000. In the last month, when I had all that time to, to ask questions and literally do nothing else besides sleep. <laughs> You're now face to face with God. I don't see him. You can ask him. him any question, and all you can ask is, what's for dinner? This is me in a nutshell. Is that a quote from I something? I appreciation for those around me. I should have. No, don't think like that, Alex. There's no use in beating myself up. Is there? I don't even know anymore. Don't be so hard on yourself! what my mother said to me whenever I made a mistake. I sure hope Alex achieves Chim by the end of this. That would be good. 
It looks like he's well on the way to zero summing at this rate, though. Oh, is this the mantra I really should have adopted? Maybe I should be hard on myself. Maybe I'm a failure. I wonder what's for dinner, says Alex to God. Maybe acknowledging your mistakes makes you not a little shit. It's a, a radical new ideology I think Alex come across there. Alex seems like he's always really hard on himself, though. <laughs> like, he has the whole... Oh, I'm in space. That's cool. He has the whole, like, council of elders that berate him for calling a... Saying that no one cares about Rory's sister. Like, I don't have a council of elders, personally, that yell at me for being mean. Uh, okay. Fly up, fly down, dash. All right. Ba -da -da. Uh, oh, there's no camera controls. Um, oh, okay. This is fucking weird. Maybe this is what Armored Core is going to be like when I, when I play it for the first time. People always say that game is a weird control scheme. Um, so the camera, it automatically points ahead, but only when you stop moving. That's how the camera works now. Um, I can go down, save, I guess save over my own death, yeah. Petition to rename ACDS mods to the Council of Elders, uh, granted. I'm not changing the role name though, that's just what they're called now, uh, in informally. So I can, I can go up and down, do I fly into my own mouth or something? There's a, a thing over there. Uh, I kind of want to fuck with whatever this is. Oh, there's a there's a floor. I can't go below this this uh, Y level here. Okay, asteroid belt. I have an idea. Hang on. Hang on. Here we go. Suddenly we're playing a good game. It's beautiful. Isn't this so much nicer already? Look, he's majestic. What's that? It's a little orb. Is it you, Timber Hearth? Oh, I can push it? It's a ball! They have a ball here! woo -hoo -hoo. That's so exciting, the controls are an, like an absolute nightmare. But I can like touch the ball. That's really cool. There's a star field here. That's a reference to that one uh, Bethesda game that may or may not come out in the next 10 years. They, they don't disintegrate when you touch them. Uh, okay, that's the Alex Nebula over there. I saw like a battleship. What is that? Is that a submarine? What is this thing? No, it's a statue. Of an Egyptian goddess or something. Okay. It has a very tall hitbox. Can't touch it. Uh, there's a rectangular prism. Starfield comes out in three months. Yeah, so does Silk Song. So does Silk Song, buddy. It's just a rectangular prism. There really is nothing else to it. Oh, that's cool. Well, maybe this is the protagonist of that one game from Cool Math Games, where like you flop around and you're like a block. You know the one, right? The already delayed silks? I know, I know.
I wish I could keep the other Wilds music on for the whole game. It's so good. Everyone should just hire Andrew Prollo. Wait a minute, cutscene. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Panda. Saved it. I'm so lost. Where do we go? What do we do here? I'm terrified. I Wait. miss my friends. Hang on. My family. I can't see chat shit. What the hell am I gonna do out here all alone? Oh, he's flailing around. Alex, I don't have any answers for you. I'm sorry. You mean you don't have answers? <laughs> you, you always have something to say! Alex, how am I supposed to know what to do? I'm only a stuffed panda. Oh no, the pit shift wore off at the last second. Hey! Hey! Don't come back! I don't care if you're a toy! I need you! Panda! Oh yeah, castaway reference, alright. No. And it drifted behind the comically oversized barber chair and was lost. That's the same pose he made when Sammy got sucked out of the elevator, but now he's crying. You don't understand what's going on? I don't think you're supposed to. This is the soul space, and the music is really loud now. This is the the medium between the different realities. This is the astral plane, whatever you whatever you want to call it. Oh, now I go back to rectangular prism, Chan. How blind am I in my house? Completely. Um, all I know is that it's reminiscent of House of Leaves. Oh, I can dash. That's the dash. All right. I'm glad they gave me this power. This is optimal movement. He's really going. Uh, what is that? Is that a, a planet? Say it, Andrew. Say it? Say what? Oh! Spring! Spring! There we go. Oh, you meant wubba lubba dub dub. That's what you wanted, I see. <laughs> it's Uranus. <laughs> what was the game? Oh, if you if you try to like dive below the height limit, the game like the 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 physics stutters. Oh my god, that's horrible. Jesus, that, that's giving me a headache. Look at him go. It's really far away. Is it Giant's Deep? It looks more like Timber Hearth, but... Hi. There. Hi. Hi. These are other Alex's, I guess? The Alex Clubhouse? Do we, do we have less, like a fucking... Just a little cordoned off zone in Purgatory where they put the Alex's so they can't bother the other residents? That's fucked up, man. I'm just gonna go fish at the pond. Fuck all you guys. I don't want to talk to you. Try to clip into the pond, Alex. Okay. Um. This is the Council of Ricks. What did she look like for you? Mine was red. God, I miss her. That's a uh, effeminate Alex. Hey. Wait, wait, don't go! That's Alex, but a different guy. Oh, I haven't seen you before. Did you just get here? Who does he look like? I don't know. Yes. That's the VA? We're here okay. Is... It's your room, of course. Look, 
I just got the soul space. Otacon a little bit? Uh, I'm lost. Not really so Tommy Wiseau. Years. I don't even know what we do here in the soul space. Ah, I understand. Well, we've got a bunch of the latest games from each reality. Some dope beats. Oh my god, it really is just like Alex's little purgatory cubby. So, uh, just kick back and enjoy. God, this sucks. This is my friends. And then something happened. I was myself, but I was also a meteorite. They're all dead, I think. They're all dead, yeah. It happens. Shit, are you serious? Of course I'm serious! What kind of question is that? What happened to these Alexes? How did they get here? Why is that one, one so jacked? Seen you through to the end before. You're the first, I believe. Oh, they all bailed out. Usually, we leave our body when she comes to get us. When who? Wait. Who is she? Well, the Ascension 2000. She appears to us, warns us, shows us what we're gonna do, and we get the hell out of reality before anyone gets hurt. Oh, is that it? I just do that. I thought I could fight it! But you said if I didn't blow up reality, then other people would. They kept saying that. They kept saying it wouldn't matter. <sighs> wow, you're a brave one, but uh, it's impossible. How could the decent few of us actually stand a chance? There were just too many of them. Too, too many, many of who? Look, I think it would be best if you just relaxed a bit. You're gonna give yourself a panic. Can you have a panic attack in the soul realm? That's fucked up. Whatever you do, just don't go to the other side of the rock. We're not allowed to go over there. BRB going behind the rock. <laughs> okay, I want to talk to jacked Alex first, though. I was trying to think I made the bad choice. She said we'd explore the universe together. She said we'd see everything. Essential lied. All I do is sit on a rock with a bunch of dudes. <laughs> that sounds pretty bad yeah that's like not good at all <laughs> did you see her is she coming back man Ooh. the android <laughs> the essential 100 man. no it's a german 9856789 there, there's infinitely many of them <laughs> i talked to that one oh look, there's sometimes i think i should just go to the other side of the rock I bet it's more fun over there. What the fuck happens behind the rock, guys? Th there's, a uh, Claudio and Chandra's Alex. She doesn't want to talk. Alright. There's a sunflower. That's cool. Uh... Ooh, oh, you can't go behind the rock through this way. Scary child. I thought that the fucking song was playing Ode to Joy for a sec there, but then it stopped. Uh. This really sucks ass. I'm going behind the rock immediately. I hope it existentially obliterates me here. I didn't sign up for this afterlife bullshit. Right as hang up, hang a, like a sleepover with five copies of myself, like the one slur in a fan fiction. Where's the female Alex? The they they, they, ran, they ran out of budget for that one. I guess these were the only ones that didn't immediately. Uh, just I guess they're implying that all the other Alexes chose to destroy reality for some unknown fucking reason. Uh, there's literally just six who didn't, or seven, sorry, I didn't mean to forget you, Alex, two over there. Um. <laughs> HRT would save him. Uh, I think he's gonna take some more potent stuff than that. Um, how'd they get the karate trophies up there? That's kind of impressive, actually. There's... Do they even have, like, extra dialogue? What did she look like for you? Mine was No. Weird. Okay, it's been three minutes, and you've already run out of conversation topics. Whatever like, you do, just... I'm going behind the rock. I hope I die. Fuck all of you. Continue to circle jerk or whatever you do in your spare time. Are you here to join us?
the Dark Galaxies Brimhat Arc. <laughs> oh, won't you please help us? I stared into the void, and all I saw was myself. Head canon is that all the Dark Alexes are just the ones that have decided that it's okay to fuck each other, and the other ones are against it, and that that's the divide here. We are going to destroy another reality. Are you coming? Why? Why? I'll pass. Bro, what's going on? Why are they doing that? Hundred and ten. Do we have a hundred viewers? Oh god, I didn't even notice. That's like twice as many as we usually have for these streams. That's funny. Maybe the the my house uh, bait the pulled everyone in. Of myself, I felt something drop from within me. It was separate from the other thing that previously dropped from within me that I talked about at great length earlier. I was losing a part of myself. I was a burst pipe, and I was a plumber desperately trying to hold it all together. Hmm. Burst pipe. Freud would have a thing or two to say about that. It was a metaphor for a metaphor for a sad, sad man. That's the, the Xerox of a Xerox line from Bojack Horseman at home. Metaphor for a metaphor for a sad, sad man. I followed the meteorite for ages, watching it destroy one reality, and then the next, then the next. Each time, it was as if I lost all my friends again. My mom, my sister. What does the meteor dad, mean? What? Why is? What is the deal? I couldn't remember. Just explain. What is the deal with Alex destroying realities? Why does it make any sense? Why is it a thing? I thought about what Vela told me about soul survivors. Was I becoming a soul survivor? You kind of already are one, aren't you? Or maybe not. I don't remember. I was the soul survivor of my reality. It would be a fitting fate. Maybe it's like, that's almost like that's what the devs named it after, so... I tried with earnest desperation to hold on to what made me, me. The red beard, the glasses, the really cool rolled up plaid shirt. A star in the distance. You're gone again. Your soul is destroyed. I don't know how many times I've witnessed the loss of a reality at the hands of myself. Like, literally, you don't know? I, I could see that being, like, he just means it literally... What could I do? I wasn't strong enough on my own to defeat so many. I just noticed the, the apostrophe and, and it wasn't there. Is that upside down? I feel like the apostrophe is upside down. I was cold. I didn't have a body and yet somehow I was cold. Okay. Desperately I longed for it. What was her name? She was a woman made of plastic. She was essential to my survival. How would she say Essential me? tears around. Why didn't I do? What was her name? What was my name? I needed to keep my mind. I needed to stay me as long as possible. But for what? Bro, what's... I don't what know. What was I going to figure out? What was I going to accomplish? Why am I here? Clearly not for any reason anymore. I don't know. I desperately tried to recall my life. I arrived home from school. That I could recall. What did I majored in? Uh, liberal arts. I met a mysterious and wonderful girl named Sammy. Yes, she was... Oh, and then she disappeared. And I never saw her again. Yeah. I made friends with my neighbor, and together we met a girl from another reality. Yeah. I started having dreams about a beautiful android stuck in a van. She wasn't in a van at first, though. It was a parody of a female living space, as described by a mysterious narrator. Me, my neighbor... And the girl from another dimension met a kid on the internet whose sister died. We became good friends. Maybe, arguably. I chased a mysterious being from another reality to a radio tower, where it asked me to find a record. I made two new friends when looking for the record. The record turned out to be by the girl from the other dimension. We played the record on the radio tower, and it woke up the sleeping android yeah. stuck in the van. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm writing it down, Alex. Keep going. We chased her down. She took me inside her mind and showed me that the world was going to end. That I was going to end it. Yeah. Together, my friends and I worked hard to stop it. My eternal friends. Month. Friends who were there for me in every reality. What happened? We couldn't do anything. It's all over. If 
floating away. This sounds crazy. It is. I'm nothing. What happens now? I don't know where it's going. Please give me closure on literally anything. Can you get some monologues and RAM? Hell yeah. Patching that in right now. I'm going to call Artie Gibson and tell him to take another month to develop Silk Song and add more monologues. Uh, is that Sammy? She's she's turned into the grudge, unfortunately. Um, so where is this? Where the fuck am I? What is this shit? I thought it was just disapparating and undergoing ego death a second ago. Now I'm in like, oh yeah, level six. Welcome to the new zone. There's a telephone here you can save your game at with more metaphors for your mental hangups or some shit on the couch and the piano I still can't fucking play. Can I browse 4chan at least? I can't even browse 4chan. It's me, Panda. Oh, hi, Panda. Oh. You're in the way. Yeah, da, 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 ba, ba, ba. The key store? Shit, I should have gotten a job at the key store. Wait, what's the save file for pre-ending? That's the second last one, is this pre-ending save file. It's me, Panda. I'll uh, not overwrite that one. Yo, 15 bucks. Wait, that means I'm, a I'm attached to material wealth. I'm gonna go to Buddha hell now. Put it back, Alex, put it back. It's really bad news if you, you've undergone ego death and astro projected and you're still picking up money. It's me, Walk off, Panda. I hate you. What does that say? Welcome to Akdos. It's some wankery, I think. Okay. I don't have a skateboard anymore. It, it was destroyed along with the rest of reality. What can I do for you? Can I sell my 99 spaghetti? I don't have jack shit. Sell your equipment to avoid a ton of backtracking. Um, well, do I have equipment? I don't have anything. I know I do. Fuck, I lost the mystical. I could have kept it, but it's gone now. The uh, the mystical ultimate LP legend. You really want me to sell all this shit? Like I won't need it? Some of it. I mean, I don't really need any of this shit. Oh, enough to buy all the... I get it, I get it. Okay. Panda key. I need... $165. Andrew, don't get jabated by the sell all your stuff bit. I don't even need that. It, it's not really helping. Um. Oh, here we go. Uh, what happened to the other thing I had? Okay, that's still not enough money, though. Didn't I have a... A third thing? I'm not selling the record. Looks like backtracking it is. Uh, oh, that's too expensive. I can buy these two. The no music here is kind of... 
disconcerting. Yeah, use the panda key. Michael, is that you? Oh my god. Michael, come back! Wait for me! Shit! 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 Don't walk away! Ooh. Vela's there. Can I take the skateboard? Please just pick up the skateboard. Uh, where does that start? Hey, Rory's over there. At least there's more money in the treasure chest. Oh yeah, 35 bucks. Oh my fucking god. Oh, there is voice acting. Where did Michael go? This is really quiet. Wait, wait, no, don't run. I'm coming. I'm coming. Came out wrong. Do -doom -ba -doom -ba -doom -do -doom. Completely lost on what the message is at this point. What's a metaphor for anything? I don't know. I don't know. I'm completely lost. Mr. Plinkett Review. Yeek, a postmodern RPG is the most embarrassing thing since my son. Uh, I need another key for this one. I wish I had a skateboard. This game is a metaphor for metaphor. Yes. It's a metaphor for the idea that media have themes. Sometimes. I can't wait to get back to the key store. The game's just fucking with me. It's been fucking me the whole time. Kojima save us. Yes, please Kojima, just appear on screen. And I don't have enough money. How do I get more money? Do I have to sell the fucking record? Swear to God. Swear on me, mama, if I gotta sell the record. I missed the chest, of course I did. Sell the other key. You can do that? Oh, what a weird little puzzle. <clears throat> It's like a key rental service. Yeek Stranding. Go find her. What do you mean you lost the keys? Alright, I'm so excited. New entity key. Oh yeah, there it is. We got it. Yeah, I love that one too, little buddy. Okay. After you're done with Yeek, check out Tusnarkerer's Yeek Made Me Think. If you need something for the background, it has some interesting views on just what the fuck the ending is. Well, that's nice. I've Honestly, the reason I played this game in the first place was mostly just so I could watch video essays about it. Because I wanted to watch th this one, but then I realized that I, I would ruin my ability to ever stream it if I watched the video. So I'm going to watch several Yeek reviews after this. Um, to get, yeah, I want some insight on what the fuck was supposed to be the idea with any of this shit. That's mostly what you end up craving after experiencing Geek, is just closure, anything, just like help, literally just help, anything. Hey, hey, don't go. Alex, move oh, closer to the mic. Me. Chandra? Chandra? Don't leave me too! Where are you all going? You're the fucking running shine review. I watched the beginning of that one. 
Wait, uh, wacky, let's say. It's a wacky one. For sure. Da, 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 da. You craved a good video game after Yik? Well, luckily for you, I'm gonna play that Doom Wad after this. The message of this game is that not every wacky indie RPG has to be a good RPG. <laughs> How did uh, I get here? How had I found this planet on my own? I don't know, Alex. Fucking... Who cares? Just How is the meteorite not already here? Roll with it, I don't know. What is happening? Somewhere in the isolated recesses of my mind, like a warm light in the distance, Idea is forming. I'm glad, Alex, because I can't say the same. Completely human, genius, and kind intentioned idea. Something that no other version of me would do. Oh. And now my body is filled with that overwhelming feeling that I'm about to do the right thing. What is the right thing anymore? What the fuck? Can you. What does it even mean to do things anymore? I thought we were just like a disembodied consciousness floating through the astral plane. What do you mean, do things? I always made a choice. You, a lazy choice. You just tried, you just like fucking died trying to fight an apocalyptic meteor. That was trying to do the right thing. What's different? What changed? Not today. Today. I choose differently. Okay, Alex, just whatever you got cooking, I'll, yeah, just do it. Just fucking do it. Whoosh. 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 As I approached the planet, <laughs> I wondered about the nature of their reality. How many cows do they have? Could I intervene? Was there another me in this reality? Do 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 fade to black. Well, what's happening? I do not know. I don't give a shit. Time for the quirkiest, most badass twist ever. I can't wait. Present day. Oh. Like twenty twenty three. Do I click a button? Oh. Before you answer, I want to thank you for listening to my long story. Isn't that exactly what Ralsei says? Okay, real quick, what are the odds that Ralsei is quoting Alex Yeek? What, what's, what are the odds? I mean, I know he just like said my name and I was expecting all that shit eventually, right? Like that ball had to drop eventually, but um... But it's kind of just what Ralsei says. I'm afraid that this reality will soon end. And once again, you'll be destroyed. Along with Vela, Chandra, Rory, Claudio, and Michael. Okay. I have drifted aimlessly in the soul space. And it is terrifying. With each passing moment, I lost a tiny portion of myself. Each time I witnessed the various versions of myself... Oh my extinguish god. Extinguish life in another reality. I lost an even greater piece. It's doing the computer monitor pullout from my own Undertale video. Alone, tired, terrified. I saw everything with such terrific clarity that my own mind felt vague and boundless. This is Alex's bedroom, though. I recognize that fucking DeviantArt poster up there. Coming to you, asking for help, I think about how the Essentia 2000 must have felt first coming to me. When I'm looking at you, I get this feeling like you've made up your mind long before I even asked for your help. Mm -hmm. So what do you say? Will you help me defeat parallel versions of ourself? Ourself? Is it saying that I am an Alex? I don't like that Alex, I don't want to be one of you. Uh, sure. Good. I understand that in your reality, you interface with the soul space via a gaming device. Yeah, I, I gotcha, yeah. I played a one-shot, dude. This is all fine, let's just do it. Man, I wish I had one of those. That would have made my life so much easier. 
Two dollars from Wondrous to say Yeek Mode? <laughs> Why is that funny? <laughs> yeek Mode activate. <laughs> Bro, this sucks, screams out Sin. Little does Alex know that I'm di diegetically streaming this to a bunch of bozos who are just eating peanuts and watching him suffer. That's the funny part. Alex has joined True Andrew's party. By the way, I think it says True Andrew because the dev's name is also Andrew, and that may mean the dev is also a character later. So there cool. are many things I have to tell you. You've told me so many fucking things already, Alex. Can you cut it short? But to tell you everything would probably take a very long time. No, I know. Hours, maybe. Yes. I wish I could say how sorry I am for everything that's happened to you in your parallel lives because of my mistakes. But <laughs> what are you bringing me into this, Alex? Why are you making this about me now? What do you mean my parallel lives because of your mistakes? Alex, come on. I lacked the courage to act in the past. But I plan to make up for it today. In my reality, I knew you all as Michael, Vela, Rory, Claudia, and Chandra. Us all. In many lives, Oh, it's you were different things to me. It's gonna pull out the names the I names entered at the start. Relationships don't matter. Let's. Let, I, I forget what names I put in. I can't wait. What matters is how much you've always been there for me. I want you all to join me once again and do something absolutely crazy. I plan on confronting Proto Me and destroying it. Proto Alex. We still don't know why Alex is destroying realities. I don't know what we will still don't know that. There, but I've faced this thing before, and I think I know what I need to do to defeat it. Is this how Chris Maybe. feels? Asks Remnant with a two dollar donation. Um, I think this is much worse <laughs> than how Chris feels. I think Chris is peachy compared to this. Uh, but you know, n not in the homestuck way. Y you know what I mean. Thank you for the the two bucks, though. I don't know. I faced this thing before. I think I know we need to defeat it. Us? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll just do whatever you want, Alex. Me That's good. And you. Yes. Us. Me and you. This has the player and vessel fight. I don't even know if that's what this is. Like, I, I can't even track the metaphor that closely. 420 pounds from JD just to say the game sucks. What? I'm unsubbing. Yo, it's, you? it's like if Aladdin and the genie were the same person. Sick. My favorite character from Disney's Aladdin. Uh, okay. Holy crap, you look awesome like that. You look like a fucking, I don't know, smurf. Er, sorry, you're uh, Michael to me. I don't know your name here. Vivek. Another two bucks from Wondrous. Don't worry, guys, I'm watching for turtles outside. Oh, that's good. You're on Turtle Patrol. Very glad to hear it. No problem. So, what's going on? Oh, guys, it's perfect. It's perfect. It couldn't be any better. It couldn't be any better. I forgot that I put Jaru in. <laughs> it's all worth it. <laughs> What's the deep lore? I don't know. I don't know what the deep lore is. This is. I just entered some names at the start of the game. All right, Jaru has joined the party. Basically, this guy Alex is extremely lazy in a lot of parallel lives, and his inaction and other appalling personality flaws are going to be the death of us all. Through mechanisms that, right? that I don't fucking understand, but otherwise, yes, that's true. Halloween, shout out to Halloween uh, holiday. Yeah, something like that. It's nice to meet you. Nahu, yeah, hell yeah, rad, rad composer. Wow, you're a lot shorter than they are. Are you a cat girl now? That's that's cool, I guess. Yep. Play it on me. Guess that's one thing that isn't different in this reality. Yo, let's do this. The I've fuck? always wanted to punch you, so I'm pumped. 
Matthew. Well, that that's Matthew Patrick, I believe, is uh, who he's named after. Am I tall? IRL? Not particularly. Uh, he looks like that one character in Log Horizon. Very similar armor. Uh, cool. So we're the Space Avengers now. I'm still wearing a plaid shirt. Do I get a cool costume or, or what? You're not going to top Jaru. Like, we, we really blew our load with Jaru being the first fucking guy here. What's happening? I don't know. No one knows. No one knows what's happening. I'm game. They changed his hair to be a helmet? Oh god, you're right. That's actually really funny. Uh, he has like a some sort of Celtic cross on his chest. That's that's nice. Hey man! So we're gonna save the world, huh? This exact same thing happens in the Elder Scrolls lore at some point, probably. Like maybe in Coda, I don't know. Probably in Coda, right? Where's Claudio? Oh there he is. He spoke too soon. I was looking at chat, then he appeared. He looks Similar. He's, he's a samurai. That, that's cool. <laughs> Man, I've always wanted to do that. Nerdy Andrew. Wait, who the fuck is Nerdy Andrew? Did I enter my own name twice? Maybe that's... Did I just enter my own name twice? Is that why it was true, Andrew? It wasn't because of the dev? I don't know. Oh, I did. Oh, yeah, that would do it. So Claudio is just Nerdy Andrew now. Yeah. It will appear as if I succeeded in <laughs> <parallel> <laughs> Okay. The Godot engine is here. <laughs> God, this is fucking stupid. What's... <laughs> yeah, you sure did it, Godot. I can't promise any other worlds will be safe for me. But I can promise we're going to save this one. Yeah. Okay, guys. Let's do this. It's da, ba, da, ba, gonna be the hardest da, da, thing I've da. ever done. But I know we can do it with I hope it's the exact same uh like combat mini games they don't even change it it's not cinematic at all it's just doing the fucking mini games it's you can time da, 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 da. no Godot is the Essentia 2000 I think so I don't know what the Essentia 2000 is doing here anymore she kind of stopped being a thing oh look it's the end of Earthbound what are these? There's a treasure chest. Why the fuck is there a treasure chest? Oh, all my stuff. Okay, that's nice. I can finally make this right. There's just two Alexes now and one of them is me. This is fucked up, man. This game sucks. This is fucked up. With the penis music. We're both wielding the one-hit wonder. Okay, Alex is the one with all the stats, so he needs the mystical ultimate LP legend for sure. Yo, a fitted ball cap. You're an idiot if you think I'm re-equipping all the shit before the fight. I'm just gonna max out Alex's attack stat and go to town. PP up. Such good music, man. Oh, man. That's 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 really good. There's two Alexes. Uh, get out of here, Jaru. Uh, like, I, I know that Jaru is really... F I guess I have to have Jaru in the party, don't I? Alright, so, um... How do I actually swap them out, though? I forget. I, I don't know. Whatever. Let's just wing it. Where is Godot? I oh, I missed it. Uh. <laughs> Call again any time. Can't wait. Is this like a super weapon of some sort? What's in here? It's just some fucking healing items. Who gives a shit, dude? Who are you? The truth is, I'm not original. Oh, it's Alex. Everything I have to say that you found interesting has been said before. There wasn't much of it. But this I guess. is just the first time you've heard it. I am a code machine. 
I string things together smarter people have said to make myself appear to have value. Right. I'm the definition of pretentious. Forgive me. Epic remix here. Let's see if I can one-shot him. Oh, that's that's me? The dude in rubber gloves and a viking helmet? Th that's like the me, Alex. Okay, cool. That's what I look like in real life. They, they really called me out. Uh, the wrong move again, Alex. This is the wrong attack. I still can't get it right. A skinned panda. That's what he gets for being a traitor. Uh, Jaru here still has the same fucking moveset. Alex of Pretense. Fifteen damage. Hell yeah. So why do they look like that? I don't know. It's just Jaru is here yet. Havela's playing a fucking... a liar. Sure. Fight it. Two hundred damage from Vela. All right, Vela knows what's up. What does this guy do? What the fuck is this thing? It's the same. It's just another Alex. It really is. It's the exact same. I mean, that's good because Alex is the strongest party member. That was really bad mashing. Hmm, that's not very good. Here's the real damage. Here it comes. I can do this for a long ass time now. Oh, 75. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's just Alex, but with a philosophy degree, correct. You got a bunch of jack shit items. All right. It, it is pretty funny, like the, the Gygus intestines, but it's just Alex's beard hairs. It's rather funny. Next, next Alex. Oh, it's Fat Alex now. It's too far. I can't reach it. This is too hard. Why, we're fighting Alex's personality flaws now, but I still don't get why being a, a slight bit of a dipshit means that reality is destroyed in all in all universes. Like, why? How? What? What does it mean? I just went to sleep. Won't you sleep with me? This is someone's fetish session. <laughs> we made the music shittier. The line should have been, I want to have fuck with you. Can I one-shot him? for a one shot. Hehehe, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. 10 XP, that's useful. 23 bucks, dude. Summoning salt. Oh, speaking of which, there is a new summoning salt. I haven't watched it yet. I usually watch them uh, on release, but uh, I was uh, just doing something else at the time. 
but Halo 2. It's very exciting. Uh, I don't want to fight with you. Go away. I just want to consume. consume. What the hell are you consuming realities for? Consuming realities? Why do you have to do this? Finally asking a question. I must have spectacle. I must have presentation. Come on, entertain me. Consumer Alex. There's no reasoning with this one. Sorry, Alex. Looks like we have no choice. Is this what we're supposed to start with? Did I, did I skip this here? The other two didn't have any dialogue. There's new summoning. Oh shit, I, I tanked my stream viewership by mentioning a new summoning salt. Everyone's gonna go watch that. The community had never seen a speedrun like this. True Andrew is just like Alex with longer hair. Why? It's <laughs> the fuck, man. I, I what what a, what a decision. Like what? I, why? <laughs> it's like I can't accept it. The community was in remiss. I think you mean to say they had never seen a yeek like this, a postmodernism like this. With the good medieval times music here. World record number of hits. 80 hit combo, we did it. 3,000 damage. Jesus. Victory was mine that day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did it, guys. 2 XP, wow. This game feels like a playable stroke. But not in the way that a lot of games try to feel like a playable stroke. Oh my god, he's just, uh... Making a, a face for sure. He's just charging up the, the vor here. That's all we're doing. Hey, don't come in here! This is private! Is this Purno Alex? This is literally just Porno Alex we're fighting here. Great. Fucking hell. Just just die. Two bucks from the Wondrous to say easy again. He sure is, buddy. He's so you can. This is kind of like Deadly Sins here, except there's only four. And they're not presented in a Catholicized way, but we're basically fighting the seven deadly sins. Is 48 enough? All right, we killed sex. Alex is now celibate. <laughs> we did it. Alex was just about to post Umris. We stopped him. <laughs> it sounds like I read that from chat, but I, I was just laughing at my own joke there. I'm sorry. Nice. You've achieved Alex's true form. This is what he actually looks like to everyone except himself. It's like the ending of Off. He's making this face at all times. Nice joke, Andrew. Thank you. Thank you. Call again any time. A hearty chomp, a big crouch. <laughs> Negative emotional aura of this space is insane. It really is. Scrumptious when it crunches. Did I get my Umaris? Oh, I didn't even mention that. I did get my Umaris book. I was so excited. I, I'll post a photo of that uh, right after. It, it took a long time to arrive, actually. I think I was one of the last people to get it. But it's uh, it's wonderful. Uh, I, I, I even found the hidden wingdings on page 66. Did everyone else find their hidden wingdings in their officially printed Umris book that you can, that, that exists? It's still available, I believe, yeah. You can purchase your own copy of uh, all the Umris fan fictions from uh, 
Well, it's linked somewhere. I think my uh, two community posts ago, I, I mentioned it. Is there a library that has Umris in it? Uh, no one's mentioned donating it to a library yet. It's It's been spitballed, of course, but I don't, I don't think anyone's done it. Wait! Oh. Don't go. I need to talk to you. Is that Sammy or the other ghost? I don't even know. Honestly, this is going to be a little hard to say because I know how much it's going to hurt. Oh, yeah. But I have to warn you, oh, yeah. just beyond that light, you're going to discover something really terrible. Nothing I can say is going to make it easier. But I need to say this to you. I'm sorry it used me to get to you. I'm sorry for all the lies it told you when all you wanted to do was help me. Even though it may feel like it was all for nothing, I appreciate how hard you tried. Is this Omori? No. I'm going to go back to where I call home now. Thank you for everything. To where I call home. Oh, the place you call home. I was like, what the... I thought she meant... Li <laughs> she was literally telephoning home. Okay. Aw, oh, Sammy, I remembered I, you were you were cool, yeah, when you were in the plot. I remember that. Once upon a time, you were a character in this game. See ya. See ya. Do I have the skateboard back? I don't. I wonder what's in the light. I just saved like 10 seconds ago. I wonder what's going to happen. I hope something happens. This is the only camera angle I get. Am I going the right direction? My community posts are good at shooting up cool YouTubers. Yeah, I recommended... Oh, okay, you don't go that way. Yeah, that, that Tim guy I recommended a while back. What a... What an annoying channel. It, the videos are so good, but it never gets any views. Like, it, it pisses me off. Um, I haven't watched his... I think he's made two videos, actually, since I I last checked. But uh, I just haven't been in, like, the mood to uh, to receive, like, a really good video essay. I've been, I've been stuck in the mindset of trying to be productive a little bit. So where's the light that she was talking about? Where do I go? Where do I go? I, I can't see where I'm supposed to be heading here. The door frame? But I came out of the door frame. Well, I, I wish I had the skateboard now. The door's where I came out of, though. How is Sammy in the way? Turn the brightness up. I didn't come out of it? Oh. Did the camera turn 360 or 180 degrees, maybe? I swear I came out of that. Maybe I just didn't remember. Uh, oh. oh, wait, these are the Homestuck chairs from the, the alpaca flash. This is wacky as shit, man. I know you. I recognize you. Oh. Oh, wow. It's Alex Essentia. Essentia? Oh, what is this? How are you here? Who's the lad? I'm really surprised to see you here. I'm glad you made it this far. It's Essentia 985. No. No. Is Proto Alex here? I'm here to finally end this. <laughs> oh, there he is. Poor, poor guy. Who what did that? she say to get you here? Look, I don't want any trouble. Just let me drink the tea. Come on, Alex, attack. Take him out. You've come this far. Oh. Jesus. This again? Oh, hilarious. Yeah, uh-huh. Look, I'm not your enemy. We're one and the same. We go through this every damn time, woman. Tell the truth. Or it's a cycle, it's a from soft game now. It's a from soft. Can I turn the game off? I could. It'd be kinda of funny. If he still wants to kill me after, then I'll, I'll take my chances with a tussle. 
Oh, I can tussle. I one-shot at all of the mini-bosses. What the fuck are you talking about? They can swear in this game? Have they done that before? I actually don't remember. Look, man, I don't want to burst your bubble, but she lies all the time. They have sw okay. There's a twist. Okay, there's a- what, what's the twist? Whatever she thinks you want to hear comes out of her mouth. She envies my power. And we may all be one of the same, but I drew the proverbial long straw. She needs all the help she can get, even if it's from a skinny MC. Is that a master of ceremonies or a main character? What the hell? Yeah, look, I'll make this simple for you. I'm you, you're me, she's us as well. Okay. Yeah, I know the Kingdom Hearts lore, I can, I can deal with that. The division of our soul isn't exactly natural and she wants out okay okay she wants to be the last one here she just can't accept our little arrangement I, I get it but we've been this way for a long time man okay go on so tell me what lies did she tell you to get you here uh, okay that i was gonna destroy reality uh and that was it mostly i think that's mostly what the, the deal is here Sancha. Is this true? Sammy? Fella? Is that all whole lie? The fucking douchebag on the left. It is often necessary to lie to yourself to get the top job done. Okay, what's... Okay. I don't even know what the lies were. Like, it's hard to keep track, dude. You've done it. We've all done it. I said what I needed to say to get you here. Well, okay. I'm sorry if I used the poor girl's disappearance as a catalyst. But would anything else really have motivated you? Oh, I don't know. You could have put up a sign that said plot progression and it would have followed it. That's all it would have taken. I can't. I... How? How the fuck is this possible? How could you lie to me? Alex, won't you help me? <laughs> the guy in the back. Him. Come on, take it out. You've come so far. He's just like, damn, this is crazy. Where am I? That he's literally me. Like literally, literally me. Both in game and like metaphorically. That, that that's my reaction. Was he kissing himself by kissing the Essentia? Probably. If the Essentia is also another Alex, I don't know. Is anyone not Alex in this game? Maybe they're all Alex. Is there at least a Xehanort that I can fight? Just tell me where Xehanort is. Let me fight Xehanort. End this division. End this strife. Without him, there will be no conflict. Okay, okay. So we got like the chaos and order, the, the dichotomy. It's like, you know, Elder Scrolls, yeah. <sighs> now you know the truth. Just go home. I don't want to fight anyone. Well, I don't really know the truth. Can you explain it? Like maybe it'll make more sense if you explain I don't want it. To hurt you. I've been through enough. Just relax, take a deep breath, and let me know what you want to do. So how exactly is Proto Alex the villain again? I don't know. I mean, he was destroying realities, I guess, but I don't know if those realities were even real, or just another- I don't know what anything is anymore. Are we still in reality? What is fuck is- why are there knights here? Is this Deltarune lore? They got a- a Super Nintendo? Or is that an N- just a NNES? I forget. To quote a wise scholar, CAN SOMEONE PLEASE TELL ME WHAT THE HELL IS GOING ON?! Yep. Oh, we should kiss? That's a good idea. Just make out with true Andrew. Confuse both of them. Be like, what the fuck are you doing, man? I don't care about the plot anymore. I ship myself with Andrew. And they kiss. Um. Did you decide? Will you fight? I have no idea what the stakes are. Is the question whether I've decided or whether I want to fight? Uh, 
I don't know what's, like, literally what is even the choice? What are the options here? I don't know what either of these two are. No. Oh, I haven't decided. Did you decide? Will you fight? Wait, there's that's not actually an option. Can I talk to this guy? Did you decide? I can Will only select fight? yes. How does Gaster fit into all this? Did you decide? Will you Oh, can I leave? Oh wait, there's stuff down there. What's here? There's jack shit. Quick, there might still be time to softlock myself with a ladder. And subvert the game's narrative. <laughs> I can't leave. Alright. Cool choice. Did you decide? Will you fight? Don't say I didn't warn you, says Alex to Alex and Alex. Hi guys, glass pillars. Uh, okay, old reliable. I hope this does damage and the glass pillars don't block damage or something. That would be annoying. This almost sounds like Birdly's theme, you're kind of right. Oh, they sure do take damage. Do they have a... They're dead? Finish them off? I don't know. Do they have no health and just are being kept alive by the pillars? I'm not sure. Try attacking a pillar. See what happens. Who the fuck is Jaru? <laughs> Okay. Well, that's not bad. Ba -da 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 -da. It's scripted, Lamau. Of course it is. The penis music is also scripted. The whole end game is just to make you suffer. That's all that's happening here. It's just suffering. I was on fire with anger. Oh yeah, they're invincible now. Good. So even if you one-shot them, they still don't die. You can't even cheese it. Yeah, why are all the final boss teams the worst music in the game? That's a good question. Surely with the crit, Proto Andrew can come in and- Oh, that was two damage, dude. Oh no, the fight was scripted all along. Might want to defend. Yep, that would have helped. Oh yeah, next segment of whatever the fuck surreal bullshit's gonna happen. Good, just kill yourself. Excellent. Is the skies forever blue? Can I go back to playing Delta Rune now? This is Zelda Pot. Who are you? Hey, Alex. You don't know who I am, probably. Oh, you're from Smash Bros. Not a lot of people do. But I'm gonna offer you some advice. Maybe this is two brothers, I don't know. I've lost everything. Trust me, I really have. I know what it's like to do everything in your power to try and improve your life with a valiant effort. Only to disappoint your friends, family, and fan base. Oh yeah, ACDS moderator Roy, of course. I mean, Elder Councilman. Roy. Life is hard, but it's important that you keep on fighting. Yeah. As, well, yeah, okay. You're not supposed to be here. You're not supposed to go on yet. I want you to go back, and I want you to fight. 
It's like just inc an incredibly shitty version of every fake out loss in a final boss fight. Like Undertale did it, Omori does it, Deltarune's probably gonna do it. I doubt I'll ever get my chance to fight again. But here it's Roy. Some people have worked really hard to prevent me from finishing my quest. But you still have a chance. Earthbound did it, yeah. But we got Roy. Those other games didn't have Roy though. They had they had a character that you actually knew and like cared about who would motivate you to like keep going. But uh, nope, it's Roy. Think about the conflict that stands in your way. Think about the division inside you. I can't, cause I don't know what those are. Tackle it with your brain, and maybe, just maybe, this time it will work out for you. I tried my hardest, and I'm happy with what I accomplished. But you're younger. You can do so much. Don't let this be the end for you. This is two brothers. Oh, it, it is. Okay, that makes sense. He's got a diamond sword, sword, sword. You cannot afford for it for his diamond sword. I'm pulling the lever. Oh, I can't do it. Did you decide? <laughs> Can I hit the lever? Hit the lever! Come on, Alex, pull the lever. Do you have any thoughts? Look, I don't know what to do. I'll follow your lead. What? I could have just been this guy all along? This guy is way cooler. Uh, oh, this like kills them, I guess? Now I can hit the lever. Does this kill her or make her stronger? I don't know. I feel like the guy on the right has a better chance of explaining to me what's going on, so... Oh, you gotta do both at once? Okay. If you think this is the right thing to do, I'll follow your lead. On three? I have no idea, Alex. I have no idea what I'm doing. Let's unplug them. Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 don't do that! You forgot to block the kill me switches. Oh, classic blender. Oh, shit, you really fucked that one up, didn't you? That's the only thing keeping this division permanent. Do not unplug us. We will be whole again. Don't do it. What, ha don't what happens? What happens if you're whole again? What happens? Why do I care? Without this, everything goes back to the way it was. I don't know what's going to happen if we do this. Me neither. But... This is what my heart's telling me to do. If you do this, only one of us will be here! Why do I- why is that something that I care about? You haven't made that clear to me. Like, why is that my problem? This is it. Unplug them. I don't know which of us will remain, but I want to thank you. You mean all the different parallel Alex's? That's not a mechanic of the universe? Was all the Buddhism shit just a lie? I don't know. You help me fight this battle. Everything I ever wanted to be. Mostly I'm referring to the cool hat. I need to do this. The plot says so. He looks like he's happy about it. pose for dominance. Oh my god. <laughs> what does this convey? <laughs> what is that? What, what does that represent happening? The ultimate life form, Andrew. Some jank? It's, it's all done. Yes, it is done, whatever that is. I'm with you. It's all up to you now. Oh no, is Alex part of me now? <laughs> Can I go back? I want the other end of again for dragging you into this. I shouldn't have been so stupid. 
Everything she said really got to me. I was so worried about hurting my friends. I didn't realize the difference between being flawed and being evil. Well, anyway, it doesn't matter now. Well, that's good at least. Look out for us. Look out for me. Yeah, I'd prefer the whole, like, Kara possession deal more so than Alex. That's kind of... <laughs> Take it easy. Is that the end? Oh. Okay. Oh, boy. What are my thoughts? What? I don't have any thoughts, dude. Why do I supposed to have thoughts? I've been vocalizing all my thoughts, and all of them have been about how I, I don't know what to make of literally anything anymore. Those are my thoughts. Look, there's sprite work. This is like the Tommy Wiseau credits too. Uh, every role is just Brian and Andrew Allen's. <laughs> Shoutouts to Mickey Superguns Oswalt and TJ Henry Yoshi. The uh, Alex uh, voice actors. Semi Sammy Park Park. Michael's last name is K? Did we actually find that out? Their name is Uncritch? Uncritch. Chandra Uncritch. Fucking weird, man. I thought hating this game was just a meme for RPG haters, says chat. Now I 100% get why it has this reaction. This is truly a yeek moment. Yep. I mean, I said that in like the second stream. I was like, wow, this is way worse than I thought. Like, even I assumed the reputation was overblown, but it was actually like, I couldn't have possibly imagined what they were talking about. Hey, like, Bowen is here. Not that one, though. Is Toby Fox going to be- there he is! Toby Fox has to be in the credits of every indie RPG. It's, it's like a bylaw now. No, JD, we did not finish within the refund window. I don't think that's possible. Toby can delete his tweet advertising this game exists, but he can't delete his name from the credits. Oh, who sang the final boss song? Bowen made music for this? Is that a joke? I, I have no idea. Bowen could have made music for this for all I know. I was just making a joke. You're waiting for the plot to start now? <laughs> this is where the tutorial ends. Time to see other endings? I, I guess. What are the... What's the point of the other endings? I've heard it was just like a joke ending. That already felt like a joke ending. It's probably not worth it. Yeah, fuck the other ending. I don't, I don't, I don't really want to see it. I'll watch it on YouTube. Can I play a good game? Yeah, I can do that. Is 1.5 gonna happen? You mean, are they gonna release it? Probably. Am I gonna play it? No. You hope 1.5 can fix this. What do you... I, I don't get what you think there is to fix in this. I just don't... I, I see, like, if you scraped the rust off of this, there'd be nothing left. It would just disintegrate. 
Like, there's not a foundation here that I think can be built on top of, personally. Like, I don't know. <laughs> or in other words, what is there to fix? 10 out of 10, as Outson says. They use Blender for this game, wow. Congratulation on beating Yeek, a postmodern Ripuga. Or PG. You can now create a New Game Plus data. New Game Plus will start off from the beginning, but all party member levels are converted back to raw XP. That sounds great, so you can level up for three hours at the start of the game, just like you wanted to. No. Oh, maybe next time. Even the game is like sad. You rejected its offer. That's Yeek. How does Yeek stack up against other bad games I've played? I haven't really. I, I don't really play bad games to completion. I don't think most people do. Um, it was just for the stream. <laughs> so I don't know. Ten more free hours in the mine dungeon. Hell yeah. That's kind of just unfortunate. But just this in general? I don't know. Uh, please check out the other ending. No. No, I, I don't care. I'm yeeked out. I don't care. I've, re I've given all my reactions to this game being wacky. I don't... No, there's nothing left. I got nothing left for this game. It, it's over now. Oh, I'm going to take a quick break, and we're going to play the funny Doom Wad. And that's the last we will see of Yeek for a while. Be right back.
All right. We're prepped for doom. I'm back. Um, I made a, made myself a, a peanut butter and honey sandwich that I'm going to eat. Hopefully without being too disruptive. <laughs> I just remembered the other day that peanut butter exists. And I'm really excited to start eating it again. I, I put peanut butter on apple slices and it was like weirdly delicious. And I can't believe that I hadn't tried that before. Anyway. Oh, 10 bucks from Remnant. Oh, thanks. That, that's actually very generous. Um... I never knew a game could say so much about so little. I'm sorry that I championed this game's streamability to you. Oh, it was streamable. Don't worry, this it was an eminently streamable game. Even if I hated it. <laughs> I did not hate streaming it. I have failed and shall go in the mine dungeon. No, don't, don't, don't do that. Alas, it was for the meme. No, that, that those were like... Games don't need to be good to be good stream games. It's like how they don't need to be good to be good speedrun games, you know? It, it's completely uh, perpendicular axes of quality. Uh, but but thanks a lot uh, for that, Regan. Yeah. Uh, how much of my house have I seen? None. I have not watched any footage of this. Um, none. Uh, like five bucks from the Wondrous too. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm hope uh, I'm hopping off so I can play this myself. Happy Demon Murder. If that's even what we're doing. But uh, yeah. Uh, thanks. <laughs> and uh, enjoy when you when you look at it yourself. So basically, um, let's let's look at the Doom here. I have to set the monitor to capture it. Hang on a sec. How does this work? It doesn't look like OBS works with that. I'll have to do a monitor or a display capture. There we go. So basically, um, this is a, a Doom wad. For anyone who doesn't know what a Doom wad is, it's like a mod. Um, it's a custom map. Doom had one of the earliest like video game modding scenes because it was like a, you know, early popular PC game. Um, it's apparently really weird. It's a bit of a creepypasta. Um, and everyone and their grandma has been playing it, even if they don't really do Doom usually. So I thought I'd just try it because why not? Um, and it, it has some lore actually in the, uh, let me, let me find that real quick. It had some auxiliary like photos and, and creepy pasta shit. I'm not sure how deeply I want to delve into the uh, like ARG if that exists, but just to set the mood, you know. Uh, there's a bunch of photos of like newspaper clippings and shit. Very House of Leaves looking. Um, Can I just open the image in a new tab, please, Google? I'd like to open it in a new tab. That should work. There you go. So we've got photos of a guy's house. Um, I believe there was some lore where it was like, he made it to commemorate uh, a friend that died or something. Classic, really. Um, oh, the actual post on doomworld.com reads the following. Excited to finally release this tribute map. Last August, I lost a good childhood friend of mine and took it pretty hard. When I was visiting my hometown for his funeral, I connected with his parents. He shared with me some of his old, old belongings. Among them was a copy of an old map of his backed up on a uh, an, an old map of his backed up on a 3.5 inch floppy from high school. Thomas and I were into amateur doom mapping in the early aughts, but had never seen this map of his prior to uncovering it on one of the old floppy disks. As a way of paying tribute to him and all the great memories we had together, I took the plunge and installed Doom Builder in order to polish this map up and add a few modern amenities for convenience's sake. I haven't touched an editor in over 15 years, so I was quite surprised to find out how easy mapping was, uh, how easy mapping has become. I may have gotten a little carried away with the new UDMF features, and, and as such, the map is designed for GZ Doom. From the text file, um, just a bunch of hardware specs, one map, not much challenge, roughly 10 minutes long, all difficulty settings are implemented, 
Uh, jumping and crouching is disabled. Okay, free look is fine. Lots of doom cute. I don't know what that means. I'm not, I'm not a doom enthusiast. I don't know the lingo. And apparently the account that posted this says Mel is actually really old. So it's a creepypasta. Yeah, it's it's a playable creepypasta. So um, let's just let's crack it open. See what happens. Uh, I guess normal mode. Again, I've, I've only played Doom on with the Russian Overkill mod, which makes it absurdly easy. So I might just suck at this. Ah, that sweet, sweet doom noise. Here we go. I think originally doom was played with, um, like, keyboard controls for aiming, but I, I can't tolerate that as a as a modern human, so I, I've mapped it to the mouse. So yeah, it's doom, all right. I forget if you can interact with shit. It's a bit weird having like um like a walking simulator style like exploration map, but not being able to look up or down. It, it's really fucking with my uh like instincts for this kind of game. Average American Sunday. Right, you sit on your porch and discharge rounds into the endless green field that is your backyard. This is a pretty average American suburb, yeah, like, backyard, infinite windows, background, just nothing. Turn off texture filtering? What is that? Oh, is it not supposed to be anti-alias like that? Let me look at that quick. Um... Display, maybe? Scaling? Uh, nope. Not those. Full screen. Uh, you can go to search and just type filter. Ah. Oh wait, here it is. Texture filter, none. Oh, there we go. Why is it set to anti-alias by default? That's fucked up. This looks way better. Here we go. Proper Minecraft textures. What version of Doom is that? Uh, this is the newest version of GZ Doom. It runs on Doom 2 for some reason. Like the base engine is Doom 2.wad. Um, but I, I don't really know. I don't know the, the technicalities myself. Okay, how do I get into this house? I think I've forgotten the interact button is the problem. Where is that? I thought it was E, but maybe it rebound itself. Uh, action. Oh yeah, it doesn't have a binding yet. There we go. That's better. Okay, I can interact with the world now. That'll help. 99% run on Doom 2. Interesting. Um, I'm assuming they're most of the same engine, like Doom 1 and 2. It id tech or whatever. Oh, it's a man. Shit, I broke the pacifist run. This game is pretty interesting from a... like a technical standpoint. I think there's a whole YouTube channel, at least one, just... just devoted to breaking down, like, the... the Doom behind the... no. The tech behind the original Doom. Um, because it was, like, really impressive for the time how much they pulled off. The, the lead programmer, John Carmack, was like a, a complete whiz. Um, oh, they got poster. Is there a plate of chocolate chip cookies that I, c I can never eat? This is so fucking weird. I'm approaching a Doom map like it's an RPG. <laughs> it's like a... I'm still playing Yeek. What's in that the disc there? I can't look down and, and see it. Uh, I guess I can go downstairs. Oh, it's a pinky. Uh, didn't John Carmack say some fucked up shit? I don't know. I, I don't. I don't want to know. I don't care.
This door is fucking with me here. I'm just trying to kill the demon, okay? Can't I camp the demon in the door? How much health does this fucker have? This game is actually kind of tripping me out to play, like I'm... I'm, uh... Maybe I should disable free luck. Oh, I'm out of ammo, shit. Because uh, not being able to look up or down, it's, it's almost like giving me motion sickness, it's weird. Yeah, I'm gonna turn that on if that's an option. Um, touch screen like. Uh, there's sensitivity, but... Is it a different option? Search. Relook, maybe? Allow- there it is, okay. That's a really good idea, actually. Search- searchable options. I turned it off. Oh, it didn't do anything. It's the same. Wait, okay, where is this option? Oh, you restart for free luck? Okay. I, have, I haven't made any meaningful progress. I, I, I'll restart for that. Oh shit, it quits the desktop. <laughs> That's uh, inconvenient. Okay, let's just try that again. It's fine. I'm just fucking around for now. There's no progress to lose. Right, we're loading. There's still no free luck. Ah, shit. The farting noises are the enemies. It, it's uh, it's fine. I re-enabled it. Controller. Wait. Re... Allow free luck... On. That's what I want. Yes. On. Ah. You have to apply? How do you apply? Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll get this eventually. Bear with me. On. It it's it saved the option. I I think the the website said free luck was okay. Yeah, that it's specifically said on the page that free luck was enabled, but um, it is on. Yep. There is no oh, save current settings. Is that it? Is that it? This is the PK3. I know I am playing the PK3, yes. Um. I think it's the PK3. Let me check. Yeah, it's, it, it, it is the PK3 for sure. Options, mouse options, always mouse luck. Oh, it's a different option. Okay. Some jinx to be expected. This is a 90-year-old game. That's not an option, though. Enable mouse. Default. Oh, right, mouse look. <laughs> does does no, anyone know how this works? What? Why does no one know how this works? Okay, it's not this. Is it in display options for some reason? Options, mouse options. It's not in the mouse options, though. 
Like, always most luck is not an option. It's not in mouse settings. Where is it? You're not seeing the Doom. Reset. Full options menu. Try that. Go to console. Oh wait, I, I had to enable the true options menu before it let me access that option. Now it works, thank god. Alright, we're in. We're in chat. We're in. You can't actually aim up and down still, it's just an illusion, but... I can melee these fuckers. Yo, okay, $20 from Cherry PG. Y2K American. It's 2,000 American pennies. Congrats for surviving Yeek. I did not, however, survive uh, Doom. Hang on, I was trying to read chat while fighting the monsters. <laughs> Thank you so much, though. Big dono. Uh, I sure did survive Yeek. Okay, do I. What happens now? Okay, you, you eventually respawn. That's auto-aim? I'll be fine. I wasn't using my gun there for some reason. I'm stuck in the box. There we go. Not too bad. Oh! I didn't know that was a door the first time. Um, the only difficulty seems to be running out of ammo. Ooh, a keycard. Yeah, shotgun, here we go. Now we're cooking with gas. So you can see this guy's friend's house had a bathtub, that's lore. Uh, he had towels in the bathroom, also lore. Okay. I can't get to the ammo. Oh, I can walk on the bed, nice. I only got two shots in this thing. Alright. 50 in this though, should be alright. GZ Doom sucks for new players. It's like, I mean, I, I imagine the experience of trying to play a game this old just sucks in general. GZ Doom probably plays its best. I don't know. More shotgun. All right. There are a lot of settings, yeah. 25 health. Oh, that's kind of bad, yeah. Hmm. You get health kits in this game occasionally, right? That's a thing. Okay, red key card for that. That's another bathroom. I can't take a shower. Check the basement for a health kit? Okay, I'll try that. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Just gotta play carefully. Sixteen health. Spooky. There's an imp. In oh, no, it's a sh soldier. Fuck. Can't hit this fucker. Alright. Not dead yet. They got the sick cool table. Give yourself a piece of that med kit and armor so I can uh, live the blue trapped bubble. What are you talking about? Ooh! Oh, that thing. I, I do want that, actually. Hang on. 
I can just go and grab that. I wonder if I could have put Russian Overkill on this. Like if I'm actually getting my ass kicked, just install Russian Overkill. Wait, where is it? It stopped existing? I should look up the quick save button, yeah. Is it invisible? That's weird. Uh, let me find the keybind. Not controller. Uh, other... Co-op spy? There it is. F6 and F9. Okay, so just spam F6 occasionally. A, a, a name? Okay. It's, it's not a very quick save, but it, it works. Okay, I'm gonna take a bite of my sandwich here. Hang on. Tactical sandwich bite. How's this guy back? Where did they respawn? Oh! Okay. It changed. Is that already fucking with me here? Are the doors different? <laughs> they might be. Um. I wouldn't be surprised if it's already fucking with me here. I think that's kind of the idea of the map. Gets non-Euclidean non -Euclidean on your ass. It's hmm. a nice art. Since when am I this high up? That's an Xbox. <laughs> See, I wouldn't have noticed that without free luck. Okay, we're Ooh, it's a skull. Oh fuck, it's a big man. The big man's come. Re equip the shotgun, please. Oh god. I was not equipped to deal with that chain gunner. shots left. Maybe I should save them for the... Oh, I have no health still. Damn. Heal thyself. I need, I need to get the health kit to heal myself. Make quick saves quicker. This isn't the normal death. That's new. Is Simple Flips gonna come in here and be like, You need to wake up from your coma, Ethan. Okay, we're here. Ethan, wake up. The incident was years ago. <laughs> I don't know how to escape the coma state. I think I'm just here forever now, maybe. Oh, oh, we're back. Okay, I thought I'd have to restart the game. Is this like a Hotline Miami uh, hospital escape sequence here? <laughs> I can't read the chart. The resolution is uh, too low. There's like a, a void inside that toilet, like a, a roiling abyss. I don't have a reflection. Okay. 
No one's in there. Each room has its own number. It's attention to detail. Hmm. Okay, maybe the real horror starts in the women's bathroom. Spooky. Pasta. Trash can. Nothing in there. Turtle it. Uh. Ooh, a key. Key for room. Uh, what, what room is that? Does it does it have a console? For room and n slash one point left bracket exclamation mark. I don't remember passing that one. Wait, is there a, an upright torso just clipped through the bed? It's a bit spooky, actually. Oh! Oh, I'm back! Uh, pull out the gun. Pull out- not, not that gun. <laughs> that one's interesting. So I guess, like, the way you- you come back from the dead is you don't talk to Roy, you don't summon your determination, you get sent to the, um, the hospital creepypasta realm and pick up a health kit, IRL. Quick save, good idea. It's reasonably quick once you've set up the quick save. Okay. Prepare for the big man this time. Wait, I just picked up a shotgun. Where'd it go? There it is. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm full health. Okay, should be easier if I have health. This is just a normal enemy. I shouldn't even be that scared of him. Yeah. Okay, I have a chain gun now. That's cool. Didn't even lose health. Um, I have a yellow key card, right? Not a an orange one or a red one. I mean. Okay. What was unlocked with a yellow key card? this fucking guy. Only John Carmack could have programmed it to flail around like that. There we go, I'm warming up to this. As long as I have a shotgun ammo, I can do fine. This My House playthrough is going to be special, because it's a JRPG Andy playing a boomer shooter for the first time. Well, one, I've played Doom 2 wads before, a little bit. Two, I don't usually even play JRPGs. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know. I, I do play some shooters, like I play Ultra Kill and stuff. It's not quite as alien as you, you may think. Oh, there's the yellow door. Okay. Ooh. The, the gamer station in here. Can I just stay in here and play Yeek? This looks like the exact same monitor that Alex came out of in that cutscene. Ultra kills a zoomer shooter. Well, I know, but what's the difference, really? You move, you move just as fast in this game, if not faster. Look at that shit. This guy runs at 92 miles per hour. I'm snowballing now. Put Alex onto the monitor in OBS. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know how to get transparent Alex that quickly. I'm not going to derail the stream to fuck with the Alex transparency. Did everyone notice, by the way, that there is a uh, bloop? Was that Discord thing? I shouldn't be getting a Discord bloop. I've, I've turned off notifications. For all I know, that's that's from the game itself. That's part of the wad, and it's trolling me. Um, I was gonna say though, uh, I I used a, a tiny clip of the uh, Mel's Yeek Tesla fan art in the thumbnail. It's in the bottom. 
where the Doom Guy's portrait should be. I don't know. I don't even know if it's visible in the standard thumbnail resolution. Down here. Oh, this is the same room. Okay. I've I've missed a door clearly. Oh, I just didn't. I thought I checked the yellow door, but it was a different door. My mistake. Ooh, they keep the hit health kits in the downstairs bathroom. How hard is it to model shit like a hairdryer in this engine? I can't imagine it's very natural. What music is this? Isn't this the normal music? It's like really crusty uh, midi metal. Save once again, I'll do it. Wait, I failed. There we go. Okay. Not so bad. The weird balled up sheets from Sans' bedroom, Undertale reference. There's no lore behind the TV. The panic room. Oh, the music's fading out. What now? It's gonna change, right? Once I go back, it's gonna change. Or maybe not. It's just fading back in. Hmm. Yeah, now I don't know where I'm where I'm going. I think that's everywhere in the house, but there's gonna be some bullshit now. You keep insinuating this house to be messing with you in some way. You need to calm down. It looks the same. Why is the music doing that? It's fading in and out. Oh, I got the red thing. That's right. I got the red card and I can go in the closet now. That's it. I remember having difficulty with this. Uh, even in normal Doom 2 maps, just like keeping track of all the different like doors you have to get back to. They, they get a bit confusing sometimes. It was here. Into the the totally normal spiral staircase, the attic. It's a bit spooky. Is it normal to have a mattress in the attic? <laughs> I don't know. Does that imply someone sleeps up there? Is that an, an attic trope? This is a very nicely made house. You're right, Mel. Horrors aside. Zoomer attention span, yeah. I got yet another key card? Which one though? I don't remember where the last door was. Where was another door? In the fridge? What a good sound effect. It's like Donkey Kong's jump noise. Oh, the blue gate. Oh, that outside, you mean? Oh, that thing. I wasn't even thinking about that. Oh, nice green shirt. What, I got the shirt? Was that armor? Oh, shit, that was armor. <laughs> oh. Oh, the door is gone now. That's, that's the problem. Well, surely I can just go downstairs through the garage and exit that way, right? The music is fucked, I think. Or is it normal? I can't tell- no. Okay, the, they've deleted the exit. <laughs> I'm getting skinnamarinked. No! Stop skinnamarinky dinky doing me! Music's definitely fucked now. Uh, what's that? I don't know. Was this here before? No, this is a new room. The house has grown a new room with some Bepis in it. At least there's Bepis. That could be fire, it could be meat. Is that the homophobic dog? Where? I want to see the dog. Where, where did you think you saw the dog? The fuck is this shit?
Why is the couch made of, like, dinosaur skin? What is that? There's Cheeto dust on the couch. So much detail. Uh, what, do I do something with the Bepis? Is that like a key item? Oh. Okay. That's new. I really like what you've done with the place, Trip and Grace, since I was last over. Very uh, modern. Is that a cross stitch? That's a cool hallway. All my homies have this hallway. Relatable, right? You know you're in a white person's house when they got this hallway. Uh, the kitchen and or bathroom. Ooh, a milkshake. The kid needs a milkshake. Find the kid. Doom guy, what are you doing? Find the kid. Give him the milkshake. He needs your help. There's no exit, though. White women be like. Builds this in their house. Kind of a vibe the, the weird like almost brutalist like shrubbery under the staircase uh, i talked with a, a friend of mine like a lot about how government buildings around where i live like they have this sort of like 1960s brutalism aesthetic where they have all these like really barren like concrete shelves with like plants growing in them just everywhere it's it's a big trope i don't know exactly what style you'd call that Uh, I'm fine without a cross here. I don't need no cross here. Um, the doors are like multiplying for all I know. Okay, that's the same. That's the attic again. Can I jump out of the window in the attic or something? Any dead bodies? Nope. Uh, it, it's not like a Roman classical thing. It, it's different. It's more like a, a modern style where it's just like raw concrete and also plants. Like brutalism, but with plants growing on it. What is that sound? What, what monster makes that sound? I don't know that one. Maybe behind the bookcase? Oh, of course behind the bookcase. Yeah, secret passage. Oh, it's not a monster, it's a... Uh... It's whatever this is. Oh, I didn't save. I can play. I thought that was a cutscene. Hey guys, uh, what, what are these guys? It sounds like a. I don't know if that's a roller coaster or people like trapped in a burning house. It's real dark though, and there's like a burping at me. Stop it. Oh shit. Spooky. They've, they've activated the Halloween hack mode now. Shit. Guys, what if what if Doom was scary? It is kind of scary, actually. I, that, that guy made me jump. A game about slaughtering demons in hell. <laughs> it's funny that it's like, you can make that scary. It's not actually scary by default. Just slaughtering demons. There's no way, man. This place is so liminal. It's like the back rooms, man. Exactly my thoughts. Ow. Doom 3 made you jump a bit? Well, that's like a totally different look, isn't it? That's like a the Nintendo 64 looking thing. It's so dark. What is that noise? How do I get back up? My spatial awareness is 
not uh, holding up here. I'm stuck in the loop. Okay, big room. Oh, there it is. It was here the whole time. Uh, is it burning or not? Oh, they're like funny... Uh, I don't know what those are. Ow. Ah! Scary man. Can't aim. There, this thing works. So the house did burn down, I guess. It wasn't a roller coaster. Ah. Okay. Low on health again. I should save. Or it's too late. But save, please. The mouse controls make the menus a bit janky. Okay. There's no longer any water in the bathtub. Ah! Fuck off. Can I get out the window? No. This is the first FPS I've streamed? I guess it is. Yeah. I got ruined memories. Oh. Well, that's good. Ah. Those guys shoot fast. Innocence lost? That's not good. Ow. Oh. Alright. I'll be fine. I need one more try. The yeah, original Doom is... It's not the first FPS I've played, but yeah, the first that I've streamed. <laughs> Gotta start at the start, right? First FPS stream means first FPS. When do I respawn? Does it normally take that long to respawn, or is that part of the, um, the mod? Do we even waste ammo on that guy? Like, it's not really any benefit to killing him, he's just having a shower. me. Um, that's not a door anymore. I need to press a button to respawn, but I do and I still don't respawn is the thing. I'm, I'm kind of pressing buttons the whole time I'm in that screen. Um, can I leave? Am I allowed? <laughs> what a sound effect. Okay, I still can't leave. Maybe it's enter. That could be it. Some uh, some UI prompts are only you can only interact with enter uh, through the garage again. Maybe it's dark in here though. Uh, oh, oh, garage is back on the menu. We did it. Oh, okay, okay. Sure. Sure. Uh, I'll look at that in a sec. The front yard no longer exists, unfortunately. Okay. If this is a white person house, where the coleslaw? I, I don't know. I keep mine in my mattress, personally. It is pretty liminal. Yeah, suddenly, like, uh, control. It's gone all full brutalist. Oh, that's not a normal enemy as far as I know. 
Bad doggies are bad doggies. Ow. Enter? Okay, enter is not the solution. I should make another auto save, I guess. Or a quick save, rather. Just need to fucking kill this dude. Where is he? Piss off. Uh, and the bathroom one, right? There was one in the bathroom. There we go. All good. Check the attic? Uh, I don't think I can get to the attic anymore? Or maybe I just forget how to, how to get there. No, I think this was the attic door. There's a... I can't enter it for some reason. Well, that's a bad sound. Why is it making that sound? Yeah, I'm just gonna leave, actually. Okay. Okay, go to the commie block. And now save again. You know you're in a white person's house when there's a million demons and it has non-Euclidean geometry. Of course. Uh, okay, so how do we deal with that fucking dog? It had a lot of health and went very fast. Blue card for that, alright? Blue card for the mysterious wall panel. What if I... Oh, of course that's progression. This is like the, the, the Mario 64 hack, like the B3313 or whatever it was called. Like you, fucking up, just it, you don't die, you just go to a different fresh hell that you've never seen before. Uh, exit. Ooh, well that's cool. <laughs> Exit, yeah. Should I? No, I keep going down the SCP staircase. Ah. Okay. This, this doesn't give me a good feeling. <laughs> oh no. It's, uh, it's the that texture zone. Uh, that's bad. Okay, how many? It, it goes on forever, of course, but um, I'm back at this one. What do I choose? I want to fall into the nice void. Oh, it's, it's not a void. You can just walk around. There's jack shit here. All right. Never mind. Adam, S Adam Sandler is Yumi Nikki. Yeah, y Yumi Nikki Doom mod. Uh, or LSD Dream Simulator Doom Water. House of Leaves Doom Water. There's, there's a lot of references you can... There we go. I, I learned that you could walk in the, in the void spaces. So it's fine. Ah! <laughs> That's a cool trick. That that's a good one. They really pulled that one off. Okay, can I? You can obviously walk through the window. Come on. We just have to get to the exit. It's right there. Surely it's as simple as that. Uh, it's right there. See, it's so close. Then I can beat the map. That's the goal, right? Beat the map. Okay, that's the thing that burns the house down. Oh, it's this is for real. Like I'm, I've actually just gone back. This is real, you mean, Nikki? I just have to actually progress the game. 
Uh, where even was that dog? I forget how I even encountered the dog before. Here? That's not a door. Shoot the gun. I did it. Oh, oh, what's that? It's nothing useful. Maybe here? Oh, this was it. Here's the dog zone. Just save scum, of course. Oh. Aw, it's a nice dog. <laughs> I like this one better. That one's a door. Am I trying to get to that guy's bedroom over there? Huh, that's not a door. Rather confusing. Is this a door? Is anything a door? Shoot the dog? Was that actually the solution? Hmm, I'd rather not do that. Is this a new door? Oh, there's the real dog. How did I... the fake dog was something else? Okay, just avoid that, I guess. Uh-oh. You can avoid it a little bit. I. Oops, I almost shot that. Maybe they'll cancel out, like antimatter and matter, if they touch. Defend me. Can you can you go fight your alter ego over there? Like I don't want to fight it. You do it. I, I cannot pet the dog. Uh. Oh. 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 Oh, ho, ho, okay. He doesn't wanna. Does this thing have health? Can I kill it? I, this thing gives me the vibe of like, you can't actually kill it. it. It represents your trauma or something. You can't kill the gay thoughts, Dr. Andonets. They're too strong. The classic FromSoft wall cheese still works though, it's fine. Can be killed. Oh, okay. He's a little bulky. He's got a fierce disposition, but he's a softy at heart, dear. I don't have enough ammo to kill it? <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I can always load a save if I run out. I have a chain gun, but I might as well conserve ammo, I don't know. Oh, the chain gun ammo. Yeah, this is no good. I'm running. I just don't know where to go. It's it's hard enough to navigate in this game even without the, the giant dog following you. Oh, this looks good. I think I made it, actually. Oh, wait, does that open me up to the dog again? Uh-oh. <laughs> Why is it right on the other side of the wall? Oh, 
dog sound. Wait, I'm back here. What what good is that? Can I Oh you can do that, huh? It can't get me maybe? Oh I'm stuck. Oh, shit, I thought I got stuck. Why is, is there another evil dog over here? Like, why is there so much noise? Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, that's no good. Ah. Woohoohoohoo! I have no idea where to go. This is so disorienting. This is what playing the Utter Wilds DLC felt like. Can I. Well, that's not gonna help. Yeah, if I kill the, the small dog, the big one probably dies, but you know, who wants to do that? Dog's fine. Fuck off, dog. Punch the dog. <laughs> This is safe. Oh, it doesn't one-shot you. I thought for sure it would kill you in one hit. Oh my god, I did it! That actually worked! <laughs> what the fuck? I did it. Hog more like dog, Outsin. More like dog. You are nothing. As God intended. I have no weapons. Do I really have no ammo for anything? I didn't I didn't use any more shotgun ammo though, did I? How am I literally out of ammo? Oh the other dog also dies now? Well shit. Damn it. Well they didn't tell me that part. Wait, what's down here? Well that's the entrance. Uh well, that's unfortunate, but at least now I can explore to my heart's content. Ah, that was a door. Yo, was that a pumpkin? Dude, pumpkin. It's Pumpkin Rick! Hell yeah. I wish he would have eaten it instead of making a Rick and Morty reference, but I'll take it. Professional dog puncher. Funniest shit I've ever seen. Was that the TikTok AI voice chat? Was that it? Did I do it? Oh, is that a, a ladder? What is that? What's going on with that? God, everything looks the same in here. Is there another door on the back of this? Of course there was. That's the solution. But I'm just back here now. Fuck. That doesn't help at all. Oh, I should save now, actually. Actually, I'm, I'm gonna make a new save. Uh, we're in the Barfu era now. Pumpkins and tall concrete towers, jailbreak reference. That makes sense, actually. What would have been preferable, chat, if you pick up the pumpkin and, and it says Pickle Rick, or if it says What Pumpkin? Choose. That's nothing. I'm just going in circles, man. I'm losing my mind, man. Have I been to this? Oh, there's new shit here. This is actually new somehow. Oh yeah, for sure jump down the well of damnation. Go right, get it right in there. Zoop. What if there's just another dog?
Ah, non-Euclidean space. You'll love to see it. Yep, yeah, that checks out. All right. Uh, I don't want to go back to here. I'm just back here. What? That's, oh, oh, the bathtub. I think it's a bathtub. Okay. Oh, there's so many ways to go. I am the rubber ducky. I'm back here? What the fuck, man? Okay. It's through the horrible duct, I guess. Oh, yeah. Parking garage zone, my favorite. Get in the car, doom guy. Y you can only complete the Hotline Miami stage if you get in the car. Uh... There's a point where you can jump in the TV room window? Interesting. Yo, moving sidewalk to the America zone. I gotta check it out. Oh, it doesn't actually work. That's too bad. They don't have the technology for that. Is this an airport? It's an airport. I don't think you're allowed to bring guns in here, Doom guy. Uh-oh. Fuck, I triggered the FBI. They're gonna be on my ass now. Health bonus, yeah. All right. What's the deal with airline food? Got to put the gun on the tray. Mounties are coming. Where the arcade carpet, though? I wonder. What does that have to do with the airport? Can't shoot him. All right, this sure is an American airport. Oh, I can get on the plane. Can I have a wrestling match in here, like in Wrestling Empire? That would be awesome. If anyone doesn't know what Wrestling Empire is, go and look up a stream of it at once. Go watch a German play it or something. It's the funniest game ever made. I don't think I'm uh, qualified to fly this thing. Uh, uh oh. They're sending the demons at me now. Shit. This is just that when uh, the Revenant bus mod. Where you just had. Oh, here we go. Alright, we're no longer in my house. Oh, but I am. Okay, I spoke too soon. We, it's like we never even left the house. That's. That's fine. The US government has subcontracted Satan. Isn't just that the plot of, um, like, the Doom 2016? <gasps> the door's back! The door's back! The door's back! Touch the exit! Touch the exit, Doom guy! Yeah, I did it! Oh. Navidson Realty for Sa- Okay. That's the House of Leaves reference. Yeah! That was a cool level! 14% of the items, no secrets found. Jesus Christ. That's like the, the, the shit ending, right? That's the you did nothing, uh, try again ending. Underhauls, alright. So doom heads, um, confirm my suspicion. If this was a, was a normal hack, is the way that it works is that you play the first modded level, 
and then it puts you into the second normal level by default. Is it, is it playing with that expectation? Or maybe this is just the second level, but I'm assuming that this is what the... Um, I'm assuming the game has accounted for this though, and this is not actually underhauls. If it is, then that'll be really funny as I play the entire thing <laughs> and nothing happens at the end. It, it could be a fake second level. That's, I, I'm assuming it is actually, but it, I don't know. If not, I'll just play Doom 2. It's fine. Oh yeah, armor bones. Played this level of, <laughs> of course, because I've I fucked with Doom 2 a little bit, but we've played a, a postmodern RPG and a pre-modern FPS today. We're really covering all the bases. Going to die any second now. Don't do it. Are we good? I have so little health left. Okay. Is this really just Doom 2? I, I don't know. I, I can't confirm or deny that until I've played it through, because this could all be part of the mind games. Because if I was designing the spooky creepypasta hack, that's exactly what I'd do. I would make you think you're playing Doom 2, and then once you beat it, it's like, oh no, you were still in the house all along. Super shotgun. Yeah, I saved over Barfu. I love me a super shotgun at least. I, I remember this room being really hard. Mm. There's some shit going on in there. The entire game is doomed to again, except the last three words of the credits are replaced with Ooh, spooky ghost! That's also exactly what I would do. The brilliant move. A blue key. I can naps the blue key. Would you look at that? A blue key. I think I've only played this map on like um, mods that make the enemy density way higher because I was playing Russian Overkill, so it's uh, easier than I remember. All right, that was just the underhauls, but now just wait for it. Any second now, it's gonna be back into the house. Gonna be back into the house. Mark my words. What do you know? What do you fucking know? I'm not a fool, I'm not an idiot. We're back in the house. Mm -hmm. 
you can't get that one past me. Do I want backseating for secrets now? Uh, I think I can find some secrets perhaps myself, but I don't know. That's a good question. Is under hulls an Undertale reference? Has it just started over? But how can I trust that it started over? Maybe it wants me to think that it started over, but it hasn't. It's actually different this time. Just like that one Mario 64 hack that does the exact same thing. Oh, it's a PlayStation now, not the Xbox. See? You can't trust anything. Can we give you one tip that will make you not start over 10 times? Oh, I'd like that actually. What, what is the tip? It was a PS1 the first time as well. Don't burn the house down. Oh. Okay. I will not do that. I'm not sure how else to progress though. I guess that's the point. That's the secret. I was just walking around this stupid house for 40 minutes talking about brutalism. I look crazy now. If only you could somehow like uh, intervene within like the YouTube stream itself and like make you perceive something other than I was perceiving. That's next level, fourth wall breaking, sixth wall breaking. Um, okay, I need to find a way to not burn the house down. Oh, I can look for the journal. Oh, the lore. I, I discounted the lore. Hang on. Let me get the lore back. Wait, no, uh... I, I accidentally searched myhouse.wd. It's like the Gaster version. I wonder what the link for Miss You Tom goes to. I haven't clicked that yet. Okay, so the journal. There's... It really is just a public Google Doc. Everyone who's playing this wad is, is actively reading the same Google document right now. It's so funny. Um, so here we go. Shoutouts to all these dudes, by the way. <laughs> For this 50 people in the whole world looking at this right now. Uh, all right. On August 4th, 2022, I woke up today to the news that an old childhood friend had suddenly passed away. I can't believe it. We were so close. Uh, part of my life is missing. I feel so helpless. I can't do anything to bring him back. Etc. Okay, where's the hint? How oh, the journal's pretty long. Story time. Let's go. Hmm. He attended the funeral. He went back to his parents' house. You got some Doom file backups. Okay. He went through the sketchbook. He found strange artwork. Uh, abstract and dark. Imagery depicting death, sadness, and despair. Just like that one in Omori. Um, you flipped through the pages. It got dark, darker, yet darker. I began to feel a sense of dread. I tried, took my mind off things and did some Amazon shopping, as any good American will do. I need a USB 3.5 inch floppy drive. Right, recover the old files. It has an HOL reference. Oh, the house being blue. Was the house on ass tree lane blue? I forget. Yeah, it didn't actually say dark, darker yet, darker. I ad libbed that. Um, it was a map of my friend's house. I was so surprised to learn he had been uh, working on a map in secret. Honor your friendship by cleaning it up and making it public. Got it. This is uh, quite long. More tea. I still have more tea, actually. 
Do I have any McDonald's anecdotes? I mean, I, I had one that I went over on the Elden Ring, the final Burly Run stream. Um, there was one time, uh, I think there was this one manager at McDonald's who was like really hyperactive. Like all the managers are sort of like a little bit broken if you work at McDonald's for that long. Like they weren't quite normal. Um, but like this, this one guy was like really intense and, uh, he always like wanted to like rush things and would like kind of be like, ah, hurry up if you're not doing something fast enough. He was the only one who really seemed to care, but he was changing the ice cream machine one day. Like there's a big sack of like ice cream milk that you put inside, uh, the ice cream machine. And he was, he was trying to do the shit so quickly that he ended up, um, Ex detonating the entire bag of the ice cream juice on the front counter of the restaurant like he ripped the bag open and it was just the tsunami of like ice cream sauce that flooded the entire place <laughs> that's a it's advanced ice cream machine broken same as a previous manager of a restaurant uh that you had maybe uh, yeah probably <laughs> the, the same guy by the way i was changing a garbage once um I think I was like with him for some reason. We we were both changing garbages, which I don't know why, because usually only one person does that. But like, uh, he, he tried to do it with some like technique that he had, where like instead of picking up the can with both hands and dumping it out, he like put the bag over the top of the can and like inverted it and then dumped it all into the bag in one motion. But he fucked it up and all the garbage just fell on the ground. And then we had to like just kneel there and shovel it back in with our bare hands, which is probably a health and safety violation. Good shit. Love that one guy. Uh, anyway, the creepy pasta. Um, okay, he was doing the Doom Editor. He feels comfortable that he can finish his friend's map. I had the strangest dream last night, but my childhood friend who recently passed away. We were playing Lego in the basement, and we, as we used to do as kids, and when I turned around, he was gone. The house was completely silent. Everything was so quiet and still. I started to smell smoke and hear screams from upstairs. I ran upstairs, and when I got there, the house was just a burned frame. Smoke was getting thicker and thicker. I could barely see her breathe. I searched for my friend, but I couldn't find him anywhere. I couldn't see anything. I started to panic, and what, then I found myself outside in the fog. I was alone, and I could hear low growls in the distance. When I woke up, I wished so badly it was all just a dream, but I knew deep down that it was real. I miss my friend so much, and it's hard to think he's gone. There's nothing worse than letting your mind dwell on something. After a while, it starts to consume you. Just now, I decided to order a replacement set of smoke detectors with CO2 sensors. So is that actually how his friend died then? The house burned down? That's what I'm getting. Uh, there's a whole conspiracy with the ice cream machine, by the way. There was some video on that about how it's like a scam to... Uh, it's like the McDonald's high up fran... Uh, what is it? Like McDonald's corporate scamming the McDonald's franchise owners, uh, owners to do infinite maintenance on my ice cream machines because of a proprietary contract they have with some other ice cream machine manufacturer um, because they're like old part business partners and like sustain each other through backdoor means. Really fucked up. Um, but there, there literally is a conspiracy about the ice cream machines. Uh, okay. I made a post on Doomworld about my friend's map. There's more to do with the map. Hopefully this encouragement I need to finish the map and push it out for the release. You want the project to remain, uh, maintain the original aesthetic my friend is working on. I'm trying to find the line between original vanilla map and cleaned up release that feels a little less 90s. What's, what's the hint though? October already? I've been busy with work. Um, I scroll through the drawings. Oh, I, I went back to the sketchbook and scanned them into the computer. Each sketch seemed more unhinged and disturbing than the last. I felt a chill of worry run down my spine. My friend's mental health was in a very fragile state. 
When's the pale pizza here? I said, I set it aside and got to work on my Doom map. I've been working on it for a while now and I'm making good progress. Um, something, something, verisimilitude. Eventually, after a few hours, I took a break and had some pale pizza I just ordered earlier. After dinner, I went back to work on the map, making some tweaks and finishing up the details. Uh, sharing is a big part of the Doom community, but a small part of me doesn't want people to make modifications of this map. I feel like it's a tribute and just a vessel for my feelings and emotions. Someone is definitely going to make a big penis statue in the yard, you're right, if you, if you share that. Uh, something wants me to be the only one who can work on it. I see. Uh, 2022 with a special two here. Why? Why that? There's a couple hints. Hmm. People have already figured out how to splice this map with other mods to play the entire game on a lawnmower. Right, okay. I'm not surprised. I still wonder if I can launch this with Russian Overkill. Uh, I'll try that, I think, before I, I end today. Um, incredibly vivid dream. Uh, awoke in a cold sweat. I knew something was wrong. I lay in bed, afraid to move. I heard a faint, ghostly cry from the attic. I heard the sound before, but this time it was more insistent. I tried to ignore it. It became louder. I had to investigate. I got out of bed and slowly crept to the attic. My heart was pounding. Um, I entered the attic. I noticed a trail of children's toys. I followed the trail with a strange compulsion. The trail led me to an abandoned daycare near the, near the edge of town. I stayed back, afraid to enter. I knew something was waiting for me inside. I took a deep breath and stepped inside. The walls were covered in eerie drawings of children and babies. I heard the sound of a baby crying from the back room. Um, in the crib, you saw a stillborn baby, just like Silent Hill. I felt the children down my spine as I realized what was haunting me. The stillborn baby in the attic. Mmm, okay. I had to leave this place. There's a baby in the attic, okay. Huh. Okay, this is like a secret code, probably. We got two, three, one. Two, three, one. I haven't seen anywhere to put in a code yet. Hmm. You keep having the weird cryptic dreams. Dreaming about taking a nice bath. I felt myself sink deeper and deeper into the warm water till I couldn't breathe. Um, I was drowning in my own bathtub. I felt a jolt. I had been pulled out of the water. When I opened my eyes, I found myself in a subterranean cave. Uh, I could hear the echoing of demons. I tried to scream. My voice was muffled by the darkness of the cave. Yet more spine chills. Uh, you started to run. So something with the bathtub. Should I just try interacting with the bathtub? See what happens? That sounds like a bit of a lead. The baby in the attic is you? I can't seem to uh, get in there is the thing. It's too high up. Sploosh. Why is the door so red here? I mean the window. The attic is another lead, I guess. There's a couple ideas to work with. Or was it downstairs? It's in phase two, post attic pre fire. May okay, sure, phase two. I don't know how I progressed to, um, I, I went through some sort of transition when I died before, I think, but if I don't die again, I'm not sure how to trigger that. Okay. I'm getting a bit more comfy with the game. That'll speed things up. 
Damn it, they, they have it through the window, you can see it, but then outside it's not there. It's just a trick. There's a fun little Easter egg in the house. Just one. Uh, there's something behind the bookcase later. I don't know if there is yet. There we go. Okay. Secret closet lore? I should check the bookcase again now, maybe, just to see what happens. Because uh, before it had to like move by itself and then I could actually push it. Hmm. There's a low percentage chance every time I try of a House of Leaves reference? Oh. I can't really uh, aim for that, I guess. I can just keep playing underhauls forever until I get it. The red door was here. That's the attic door, right. Oh no it's not, that's just the blue key card. Okay, but now the door deletes itself and... But I have the blue key card. Could I have done this before? Surely I don't- I don't just leave again, right? That's not the solution? Oh fuck, I'm stuck. Why can't I go back? Ah. I'm trapped. Under halls again, uh... Is there like a console command to beat the level immediately? What's a command for that? Maybe just no clip? Yeah, that works. All right, world record time. I love a game with the console. It's good. Is no clip still on? It uh, is, I think. There we go. We're back. God, I swear the shotgun's getting stronger. Alright, yellow key card. Check the orb. I tried to check the orb, but it just stops existing. sapped all the energy. <laughs> I know the feeling. It does do that. It saps you. Uh, okay. Maybe once I see the orb, I can, I can obtain the orb. I can try that. I didn't try very hard to get the orb before, but I did try. Save? I'll save. Uh, maybe in that I've exited through the garage, the orb exists. No? N not feeling the orb. Um, the reason I'm being calm for someone with 3% HP is that I... I'm not used to reading the HUD. I just didn't notice. I haven't really been looking at my uh, HP the whole time.
Don't worry about the orb anymore. <laughs> what changed? Ouchie ouch. Well, time to respawn. Still with 3% health. Okay, that's less than ideal actually. Maybe I shouldn't have saved with 3% health. Wasn't there health kits in a bathroom somewhere? There it is. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. The orb still isn't here, I assume. Yeah, still no orb. It still shows there being enemies in there if I look from outside. That's kind of strange, isn't it? It's like inside the house and outside the house are two different realities, right? And like, it's not just like, if you go inside the house, outside also changes. Oh, they really do respawn. Huh. So this is phase two of the house now. I've triggered it. I've actually done it. Okay, maybe the orb is there now. Because it's not there. <laughs> Inside. Outside. It is there. That's how it works. No, it's still not there. Never mind. Now I am host phase two. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. It's gonna bring up the double gaster blaster fandango. That's its special attack. It's not something lame like a uh, meta narrative. Ow. I died. Check the bathroom now. Good idea. I'll check the bathroom. Now we get imp crotch cam. Uh, need that health back. Where's the bathroom gun? There it is. Okay, we're back in business. They haven't respawned yet, though. Uh, wait a minute. There is the, uh, the closet. The closet does not exist yet. Never mind. Oh yeah, the doors were, uh, they were sliding originally, but then they changed to opening. I, I didn't even notice that the first time. Okay. Attempt to get the orb. Fail to get the orb. Enemies respawn. I understand now. There's a logic to this. I have a chain gun, right? Try that. Maybe a bit safer to use the chain gun. Ooh, spooky. All right, I'm fine. Well, the other chain gunner's gonna spawn here, I think. Oh, it's a ducky. Shoot the duck. Nice. Uh, I still can't do anything with the bath, is the thing. The hell? This is an eek. It, it's in the this title of the stream this time. You can't pull that on me. I put it right in the title. Off. This is what Alex Eek would have done. What is that thing? Why can't I interact with it? Red card. The sinks are different? Oh. Yeah, that- Oh! Wait, what? How did they do that? That was empty a second ago. I, I filled that up by pressing it. How does that work? 
No. <laughs> I don't get it, man. If I if I leave and come back, does the sink drain? Oh, oh, I can fill up all the sinks. It's like a new mini game. I just gotta fill the sinks up. Uh, okay, I can do that. Once you identify what aspects are actually interactive, you can actually begin to solve the puzzle. Okay, the toilet doesn't work. Sink simulator, hell yeah. I'm big into the sink simulator genre. Oh, sink. Sink detected. I wish like a one of seven just popped up randomly. <laughs> it would completely kill the mood, but it would be funny. Objective sink. We lost viewership, meaning more people wanted to watch Yeek than this. I I'm a bit surprised, actually. I, I thought the viewership was inflated by the existence of uh, myhouse.wad, but apparently people just really wanted to see the, the Yeek finale. <laughs> uh, was there a downstairs bathroom? Probably. The chain gun's really strong, actually. I didn't appreciate how strong the chain gun was. Okay, where the downstairs bathrooms at? Seashell. bathroom. Sink detected. What's gonna- oh, full health. I'm, I'm saving for that one. Big save. That was not a bathroom. now. Um, I'm not sure how I know when I find all the sinks, or if that even does anything. Um, I'm really just flying blind at this point. Looking back here. Try the bathroom again. That is all the sinks. Okay, I thought so. Let's see if the bathroom is metaphysically changed. Oh, oh, the bathtub's full. That's how it works. Okay, uh... Shooting the duck is not effective. I can't, uh, jump in there. Check for garage sink? Will do, Cap'n. I don't mind being backseated in a situation like this so much, it's fine. Uh, just trying random shit, basically. Garage sink. Is that a sink? What is that? I don't think there's a garage sink. I actually did it, though. I'm not sure what I did. Does the bathtub not do anything by itself and that changes like the ending if I advance the house state? Poster in the bath? I mean, if, I can't interact with the toaster, but that's a good idea. It's, it's morbid and creepypasta-like, but I can't actually do anything with that. Maybe a cupboard? Secret doors somewhere? Uh, the, uh, the attic progresses the game. I'm 
try the hairdryer maybe? I, I did note the hairdryer before. Uh, that was downstairs maybe? Although I don't think I could interact with that either. I think I, I tried like randomly interacting with a lot of objects in this and usually it doesn't work. That's not it. I don't think the hairdryer actually does anything. Do I want to solve this before progress or after? Um, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> if I progress it, like, it, it might break this. Another Discord ping. I'm just going to maintain that all the Discord pings are uh, coming from the game, and they're just to troll you. Outsin doesn't actually know. I'm going to go to the attic and see what happens. If I can even remember how to do that. Maybe there's a sink in the attic, who knows. Okay, there's supposed to be a dead baby up here or something. I don't see any. It's just a skull. There's a sink coming out of the attic? Is, like, leaving the attic there's a sink? Okay. That that could be true, I have no idea. Yeah, it's, it's already full though. I filled it up. Huh. Now the bathroom? Huh. There's an interactable object in the attic. Alright. I'll try to find it. Oh! What is that? A thing? Here? Okay, what does that do? It's showing me a thing there, but I don't know what to do about it. Is there impossible geometry? Maybe? <laughs> What even is that? It looks like a Zelda bomb. There's a mattress. Mattress is the weird part. Oh, the closet's here now. bathroom is still... This is the new room. Some Beppus. Yeah, that's... that's uh, it's, its own thing. Uh, okay, bathroom. Last chance. What, what, what you got for me, bathroom? Check the weird white room. <laughs> Here, the walls are a different texture now, I think? Yeah. Uh, wait, where has that room even gone? Maybe there's a sink in here. Oh yeah, there is. Now I've done it. 
Okay, for sure this time, the bathroom's gonna work. Yes. Oh, I've done it. I've done it. White woman loves sex. It's true. Oh, I'm underwater. And it's a water adventure. I thought I that was like a level transition, but I'm just in the bathtub. Do I eventually die? Oh, I do. All right, I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna eat the sandwich while Doom Guy drowns. I hope that was the solution, and not to, uh, not drown. The journal kinda made it sound like he- you're not supposed to drown, actually, come to think of it. Um... I think that was not the solution, fuck. Ah, yeah, yeah, okay, well, I can speedrun this now. It's fine. I know what to do. have to unlock the hidden room to find the hidden sink. Fucking weird mirror. You know how I said that looks like a level transition? Uh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, what about that? This is new, new house content. Wait, where was the other room? Make a full save, that's a, a good idea, yeah. Oh, I think checking the closet unlocks this door. And then looking in here... Unlocks that door. Okay, I see the progression now. Okay, did it. I'm saving extra hard before going that bathtub. It doesn't take very long if you know what to do, though. Okay. And then the water adventure. It sounded like, uh, what's his face was saying, like, um, you sink until you almost drown, and then you go up, and then you're in the Cave of Wonders or something. Now back. Yeah, alright, that's progress. Why can't I move? My movement is fucked for some reason. Pick the duck? There is no duck. Uh, uh oh. The water fucks with your movement? Makes sense, I guess, but it feels very strange the, the specific way it's affecting me. Now the house can't catch on fire. Oh! Yeah, maybe you're right about that, actually. Um, I still can't get in there. I forget the next step of this now. Oh, that's stuck. Ooh, the hair, hair dryer is gonna uh, electrocute me now. Ironically, the toilet is the only thing that is not full of water. Um, yeah, not down here. Ever tried to walk in a fast, shallow river? That shit's heavy. It is hard to walk in water, but Doom Guy also can run 90 miles per hour, so I thought maybe he wouldn't be bothered. 
Oh, oh, new content unlocked. We're in the pool rooms now, baby. We're in the pool rooms. Just like an Animoleopolis. Whatever that game is. Oh, yeah. Liminal. It's gonna start, like, suddenly the graphics just have ray tracing somehow. What is that? Spooky. Uh, there's a, a hole. This is pretty cool. Check out the real-time reflections, baby. They they do have uh, <laughs> some lovingly simulated reflections. How the fuck did I fight this guy? He's invisible and shit. It was a nightmare. Should have saved, I guess. Yeah. Oh no, fart monster. You hate to see it. Hmm. Okay. I got like one hour left of this, then I gotta do something. Which is, I mean, that's normally when I end streams anyway, it's not really that early, but... Just to keep that in mind, I gotta pick up my parents from the airport. Oh, I got the ducky. Chugga chugga chugger chug. I gotta be near the end? That, it could just be beginning, for all I know. Where was the blue hole again? There's Mook's art. I'll keep that in mind. This is still nothing down here. Uh, turtle it. Forget how I get into that place. Oh, it's this, right, the non Euclidean hallway. Okay, now I save. I'm back to saving over a food bar though. Yeah, whatever. Maybe with a chain gun, it'll be easier to deal with these guys. I don't even know if they take damage unless they're right in front of you. It's like those fuckler enemies from the uh, Binding of Isaac. In the ash pits. How do you fight these? I have killed one, but like, oops. Well, I guess I'm here now. Wait, is this the same? I'm back here again. I, I don't want to be here. Take me back. Heaven. Okay, you don't want to go to heaven. Oh, it's the same. It's it's just two sides of a pillar. I, I get it. Okay, uh, it's the same house, I think. It's still just the house, but weird. Uh, sure. Big bit. You can kill them, but you like you have to take damage to do it. It, it really feels like you okay, don't fall off that. Where is it? There he is. Gotcha. Um, can I go under that? I can't. 
Hmm. Oh, this is new, I think. Uh, <laughs> infinite showers, my favorite. I love the infinite shower zone. Uh, I hope I don't need to get back, because it's not happening at this rate. Where the fuck am I? Is just a big ass fish? Is that even a hostile fish? I don't even know. Okay. Saving again. I'm gonna go pet the fish. Uh, it's it's not a friendly fish. It actually kills you. Okay. Well, not a big surprise. That's why I saved. But there's a D20 in there. I want that. The chain gunner using a fish sprite, <laughs> it says Remnant. It seemed like it, yeah, it was just like shooting at you with its mouth. Can I kill it, or what? I just grab the D20 and run, I think. Grab it. The bullets have trails and everything. Impressive tech. Hey, now what? Back to the shower hell zone. I'll go anywhere that makes the music less loud. Howdy late to be commenting, but uh, thanks for giving you a go regardless of how you or anyone else feels about it. I'm a tester, and I'm really looking forward to seeing the new version. You're a yeek tester? Really? Like like for the original game, or like for the, the 1.5 version specifically? That's fascinating. A yeek tester, what a, what a thing. It's, yeah, it's not quite Devon chat, but it's... It would be fucking terrifying to have the Devon chat for Yeek. I was shit-talking it the whole time, but... Um, I think this is progress, maybe. That's cool, though. I am, in, I am interested to know more information about, like, uh... Whether that means the, the 1.5 version specifically, if they have, like, a new... new testers on, or... Or if you were there for the, um, the original, even. Oh, I can go down. I forgot about this. I hope I don't drown now. Wait. There's nowhere to go down here. Huh. Uh, many new testers that had a form for some time ago. Oh, I see, I see. Cool. Um, though I don't know if there's anywhere else to go down here. It's very hard to tell. Everything looks the same. Oh, this is new, I think. Is there a flaming Hot Spray for the boys nacho cheese flavored body wash? I've always wanted some of that. Ooh, that's a good noise. An ammo pack, though. Ugh. Stop making the noise, please, game. Uh, I know that the, the hole in the pool just takes me back to the um, spiral staircase, and I've been there already. So that's sort of just going backward. It was nacho cheese flavored body wash, specifically. I remember these things. Turtle it. This spooky music reminds me just a tiny bit of the um the Outer Wilds DLC when when the scary kicks in. 
that kind of like static in the background. It's not that similar, I guess. That game has some fucked up scary music though. Like for how pleasant most of the game is, if you, if you just listen to the uh, the DLC soundtrack and go to like the, um, the the scary part, it's just like, what the fuck, <laughs> Andrew Prala, what were you doing? Like this distorted, mind-crushing noise makes you shit your pants. Um, right, we're back in the normal house. Oh, there's a pool with the evil fish. A hole in the pool with the evil fish. Okay, I'll go and check that out. Um, if I can ever find it again. Which, you know, no guarantees on this map. <laughs> what, why can't I find it again now? Has that hallway disappeared? Am I allowed to go back? Oh, here it is. Nope, not that way. You can only find the fish by getting lost. It's it's one of those paradoxes. I sure am lost. Sky toilet? Cool. Oh. I've never managed to wander for this long in this area before. Oh, free ammo. I'm back at the house. Shit. How did I find the fish? Not that way. Wait. Here? Here. Here. Go straight. Go straight. Here. Here? I, I am so lost. This is ridiculous. I have no idea where I'm going. I'm back at the house again. Unbelievable. I know it's supposed to be a mindfuck, but did they have to do it this well? I just want the fishy, man. Before it was like every turn I took led to the fish, and now it's like nothing leads to the fish. They've inverted it. Oh, here we go, here we go. For sure the fish is here, right? It's the house again. Okay. The longer hallway. They're all long. <laughs> Like, space isn't even Euclidean here. How am I supposed to, like, keep a sense of direction? Okay, this is a long hallway. Oh, here it is. Found it, found it. Yeah, I'm looking for a hole in the pool. I didn't see a hole. I just saw a D20 before. Secret, maybe? There was no secret. Save before hole. Okay. I still don't know what hole you're talking about, though. I don't see it. Must find the D20 is a hint? Oh. Oh, that hole. Do please sink faster, Doom Guy. Ah. Uh. Oh, I see what I gotta do. <laughs> okay, that easier said than done, actually. Huh. The first thing you ever saw this was an overhead layout of the map with a million dupes of each room with small differences. That's what you'd imagine, yeah. Um, unfortunate first introduction, though. What do I do about this guy? Just wait till he's gone away? Oh, it seems like you can shoot it back and it pushes it.
I don't know how to get in the hole. Can I kill the fish? It seems to take forever. Not sure why it takes so long to respawn. Kill the fish. Please respawn. I guess we're killing the fish. It's like shooting fish in a barrel, you know? Or a swimming pool. Oh. It wasn't actually that hard. I just gave up too quickly. Very slow. It kind of has Minecraft vibes, you know, trying to, trying to very slowly sink down the water hole as a skeleton is shooting you and it keeps bumping you upward. Is there a way to go faster? I don't think there is. Ah, shit. Oh, come on. Don't drown before you hit the bottom, you piece of shit. I know I can't swim. How do I navigate this part? Do I need more health or is there some trick to it? You sink faster if... If you do what? Look down and press forward. Oh, I can try that. Uh, control to sink faster, but control is disabled on this map. You can't crouch either. So that doesn't do anything. I checked. Just move forward. Yeah, I'll try that. Why does the fish squeal like a pig when you shoot it? Save. Okay, get air. Oh, there we go. It does work. That's weird. How would how do you do that without free look though? Because I can I can only do that because I have free look enabled. Oh, air. Okay, I gotcha. It's a bit spooky. In it. Cave diving. Never fun. Maybe you can't. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's a door. Thank god. Ooh, just barely. Okay. Quickly save. What the fuck? What's going on out there? I don't like the look of that at all. Okay. Can I snipe him? They can snipe me. Is he out of range or something? I can't tell. Uh, I don't know about those guys. How did those hit me? Come on. Oh, this is just back here, so that's clearly the way to progress. Uh, no health, though. A bunch of ammo, but no health. Oh, just go and dodge? The parkour challenge? Alright. I'll try it. Are these guys normal enemy sprites, by the way? They, they look like they could be Doom enemies, but I don't remember seeing them before. Just go. Oh. Oh. What the fuck is that? Ew. 
what is that guy? I, I didn't even get a good look at it. Well, what, I'm down here? I'm just back in this place. That's fucking weird. I don't want to be here. Those are fan-made. Yeah, they, they look like arch files or something, but they, they behave like imps. And the fucking whatever those flying... the meat monsters were. I didn't even get a good look at those. Those were weird looking. Um, so I'm just back in this place. That's a bit discouraging, actually. I wonder if it's the same. Is the dog still here? Is there going to be a part two stream? There's uh, no way I can no way I can find more secrets today. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I, I don't think I'm going to go make this into a series or anything. This is better off left as like a just a quick look at it. But are the dogs back yet? Yeah. Um. I, th I think we're signed up for some fan fiction next week or something like that. Um, so yeah, I, I might have to say probably not to a part two. Because this is the kind of thing that it's, uh, it's fun to look at, but I, I don't really enjoy so much combing through them for obscure secrets. I'd rather watch uh, <laughs> someone else do that, honestly. There's more secrets at the airport, yeah. I'll see if I can remember how to get through the um, the dog part. I doubt I will somehow. The dog's not quite as scary as it looks, fortunately. Uh, oh, here it is. Yeah, the scouring isn't quite my thing. Well, uh, actually, I can just kill none of the dogs this time. That, that's a good solution. That'll work. That's nothing, apparently. That's nothing. wonder if I can get to there. Hang on. Oh, look at me! Uh, is this even an intentional secret, or did I just break the game slightly? Yellow zone. Uh, I mean, there's nothing really much here, looks like. I broke it. So the one thing that I found wasn't even a secret, it was just I broke the game? Great. Perfect. What if I just keep going down? I ignore all the distractions, just keep going down the SCP stairs. Surely something will happen eventually, right? Piss room, poggers. Yeah, there's a different window with a secret. I think it's just the same two doors forever. Oh, that's that's not even a door. Okay, something's wrong with that. Have I gone too deep now? Is it actually changing or am I imagining it? I can't touch the doors anymore. Uh, I'm not sure what to do now. Maybe it's forever, and if I go back up, it'll be different. Yes. <laughs> okay. No, not that one. There's one thing I can try, but it's more of an Easter egg to discourage cheating. Well, I'm no cheater. I'm a cheetah, not a cheater. Adultery sucks. Uh, in the words of uh, W.D. Gaster. Let's, let's watch it, the trick this time. 
yeah, it's, it's better if you go through facing forward, but... Xbox. Okay, the bathtub is no longer accessible to me. Monsters are all dead. Uh, but I can go burn the house down now, I guess. There was a thing in the mirror. There was, but I don't know what to do with that. I'm really not sure. Ah! So I'm spending with these guys here. Saving. Check attic again, okay. A bathroom mirror. Alright. Um, there's nothing spooky in there. There is probably more than one bathroom mirror though. Nothing new in the mirror here. The closet and the smaller of the two upstairs bedrooms has a continuous 9% chance to open to something. There's another bathroom. Okay. Um, I forget exactly where all the bathrooms were in this house. Ah, here we go. Bathroom. That's also there. I'm trying to see if there's anything different in this. Oh! <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Okay. It's all reversed. Not the enemy sounds, but some of the sounds are. This is going to make navigation so much harder now because it's mirrored. It's actually a, a huge pain. Can I? <laughs> oh wait, don't, don't do it. You get stuck. You get stuck. Maybe the orb is here in the mirror realm. No. Okay, what if I go to the attic now and that thing is now in the, in the attic because I'm in the mirror now? That's it. That's it. I just saw someone suggest the same thing in chat, but I thought of it myself, goddammit. It was my idea. I'm smart, and I play abstract puzzle games. Like Zelda, Link to the Past. I'm so disoriented. I'm so disoriented by this, like, how do I get back to the attic now? I, I can't believe how much this is fucking with me, just the fact that it's mirrored. All the spatial awareness is gone, it's been drained out. There it is, it's... what is it? Christmas makes me happy. A Christmas ornament. Huh. Oh, here's the, the, the dead baby crib. There's no baby in it currently. Huh. Orb. Orb. I'm at GD, GDQ now. Everyone's real excited about the orb. Isn't that a mode in like uh, some Zelda games where you can play the whole game mirrored left to right? I didn't realize how fucky that would be until until now, because it's really hard to uh, get around. You can take the bottle. Shit. I am officially good at games, apparently. That's that's good. It wasn't meant to be. 
I hope Doom Guy is sucking on his binky right now. Like Maggie. <laughs> That's so funny. What a slick transition. There's an enemy somewhere. Okay. Um, another bathroom with a, a non-functional mirror. Oh, Twilight Princess was mirrored because it was made for the GameCube and Link is left-handed, so they, they converted to the Wii. They flipped it to make Link right-handed. Oh yeah, because he had the Wii Remote controls in that game. That's pretty weird. Yeah, Link is like, he's just right-handed now everywhere, right? Because uh, it used to be a thing that he was left-handed for some reason. And they they, they nerfed him for all the uh, the, the prissy Wii Mote users who wanted Link to have the same hand as they did. That's still just the garage. Um... I guess I can burn down the mirror house, or try to? Although I forget how to do that. I've not been downstairs yet, really. Move the bookshelf still. I can go back, yeah. But why would I? I'm in the cool mirror realm. just to get the orb. Maybe there's nothing else here. Shigeru Miyamoto's left-handed. Ah, <laughs> that'll do it. Outson's made plenty of yeek art, but he's unsure what to do for this game. It's cool, though. Doomguy sucking on the binky would be pretty good. Although, isn't that already... What, what game has that? Like, the easy mode is like a picture of... Maybe that's Wolfenstein. It's like the, the John Muscleman sucking on a binky if you play on easy mode. And it also says that you're gay on the screen the whole time like a watermark. Just you like man. That's how they did difficulty settings back in the 90s. That's Wolfenstein, yeah. <laughs> Gay baby jail. The whole time you're playing the game, there's just gachi moochie running in the top corner. To rub in the fact that you're gay for playing on easy mode. <laughs> Yeah, not sure what else to do in the mirror realm. I forget how to progress further than this. Maybe I'll go back to the normal house. I got all the stuff. Okay, now to find the bathroom again. Which might take a while. Oh, I didn't even check that room yet. Okay. Oop. Deep dark. Oh, Christmas bubbles. I unlocked the Christmas mode. Nice. I love Christmas, said Noel Holiday. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, where does the Christmas lead to? Do I follow the trail, maybe? Is that it? There's a... Oh, there, there we go. Christmas, Christmas. Just a week away. Almost Christmas. Yeah, yeah, Christmas. The hidden room. Here we go. Christmas time. Let's go. The ball pit. Oh, dude, I found the ball pit. This is the best room. That's awesome. Dude, there's Shrek. Yo. What's up, my broger? This is the best. I want to stay here all the time. Oh, they have this map. I, I did in fact have one of these as a kid. And no, I don't know where it came from, but I did have this map. Is this a gay baby jail? It might be. <laughs> There's something really funny about Doom Guy being stopped by like the baby gate. You can't bypass it. Okay, nothing in here. Some funny looking soup. It just appears in people's houses, yeah, exactly. The parking lot. Ooh, ooh, health kit. I need my adult height to get to that health kit. Ah. I can't do it. Shit. Base foul. Autographed by JJ Hardy. Well, that guy hasn't been mentioned in the uh, John Boyce videos that I've watched, so I don't know who that is. Can't go through that mirror. Oh, a crack in the wall? Wait, what? Did I actually just... It seemed like I interacted with that crack for a second. If this was Zelda, I'd be able to punch it open, but, hmm. There's blood coming from it. I swear that I just, it made like a noise when I hit it before, like it was going to open up. That's weird. Oh, I knocked the health kit off. It's a berserk kit? Wait, how does that help me? I don't want to be berserk. I want to find the secrets of Ash Tree Lane. Is it a girl and a turkey? Okay. Common imagery for a, a daycare. <gasps> the Crayola model magic. It's an adult coloring book, apparently. It looked like a pack of Crayola markers. Oh, the spooky clown suit. Let me put it on, please. I want to be the spooky clown. Can't do it. sure what to do with myself now. What is that? The adult coloring books are how to draw dragons reference. Yeah, it sounds like porno, but I think it's just means not for kids, but I'm not sure exactly what that entails either. What, what do adults color in coloring books like US presidents and portraits or something? Axe forms. Oh, mirror. It looks like a, a traversable mirror, but I, I can't quite get to it. Maybe like that? Hmm. Probably more complicated. You'd assume so. Oh, I didn't check this. Alright. Hi. Really? 
They're sicking Shrek on me. That's what we're doing. It's the Shrek part. Maybe he just wants a hug. Oh, he does not want a hug. He's gonna fucking knock my lights out. Where'd Shrek go? He's coming. He's coming, holy shit. Wee. He's actually not very threatening, but you need the key. No, I am Shrek face too. I, it's, it's established already that I can't do a Shrek voice at all, but... Uh, he's really big though, god. shrek Lovania plays. This is like Slender, actually. <laughs> More so than uh, House of Leaves. It's just gotta find the eight pages before Shrek gets me. Um, oh fuck, he can walk on top of the merry-go-round. I didn't anticipate that. Uh, maybe Shrek drops the thing. I have to kill Shrek. It's all ogre now. Is he like a... What is it called? Like a hell knight or something? <laughs> That's really funny. Just explodes into, into meat. Okay. I got the key. To what end, though, I don't know. I think that may actually be the end for now. Uh, killing Shrek is a pretty high high to go out on, you know? And I've got to stop before too long now. I'll burn the house down, then we can uh, maybe head. No more Shrek. Fiona's gonna be in that. <laughs> if I go back to that zone, Fiona's gonna be back for a rematch. Save. I'll save. This game is doing horror things, but killing Shrek is too much for me. Oh wait, there's one more thing? What's one more thing? I should check the, the upstairs closet. Alright, fine. Uh, I'll keep checking the closet and it'll give me an easter egg, right? That's the deal. Smaller bedroom, find the closet. This one. So just keep checking it. I missed a mirror item in the kitchen. Ah. Is this the right closet, by the way? Aha! Oh. I think this is the House of Leaves part. This may in fact be the House of Leaves. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I wonder what'll happen when I go back. Ooh. <laughs> I wonder how long this goes on for. If it's lore accurate, we could be here for a while. Uh oh. Wait, what's down here? I'm super lost. Oh, we got new rooms unlocked. Cool. Um Fuck. This is just the shower zone all over again, trying to find the fish. It's a maze designed to make you lost, but I somehow just keep finding the entrance over and over again. This ain't the back rooms, buddy. This is what the back rooms was inspired by, probably. House on Ash Tree Lane. Oh, here we go. Now we're getting good. The backer rooms. The Kickstarter back rooms. Uh, 
Where am I now? Oh, is this new? I have no idea. Keep turning left or something. No, I, I went through there before. The big room. The big room. That's familiar. Um, okay. I don't feel like I'm making much progress here. There's this, like three scales of rooms that I've noticed, but I have no idea how they relate to each other in space. Here, maybe? Fuck. There's got to be something back here. Said what's-his-face Navidson in House of Leaves. <laughs> Uh, new, new closet? I think that's a new closet. This looks new. Uh, we're going back in here. New dead end. Cool. It's weirdly hard to actually, uh, progress in here. Just choosing randomly seems to, uh, put you back where you came from pretty quickly. Yeah, see, I recognize this shit. I've lost the new zone. Now I'm back at the door. Turn right here. Yes, the, you, you go up the elevated bump. That's the new zone. This is new. Um, now what? Uh, that looks old. The double. I'm gonna go insane. <laughs> this is like over and over again. There's no stimulation, nothing's happening. This is a proper crazy box. In House of Leaves, there's a big room with a staircase. Well, that's what I'm hoping to find. The big room. I'm hoping there's not just actually nothing in here. That would be a bit disappointing. Back to the big door. Oh, that's there. Shit. <laughs> I'm not making any progress. Holy shit. Is there something in here? Why is it so hard to get lost? I think it's actually... Like, there's more ways of getting back to the beginning than there are to progress deeper. So I think really it's... Getting lost is getting back to the start. And finding the direction is actually deceptively hard. There is something in here. Okay. Uh, I feel like I should be writing shit down, but I don't really have that kind of brain power at this point. I'm more feeling uh, brute force shit until it works right now. I got a few more minutes. So I've been turning right after this door. That's one consistent thing I've been doing. 
I remember that gets you to here. There's a couple landmarks. Um, if you go right again, this is new. This is new zone. Okay. I think I can remember that. Okay, that looks old. Go back. Go back. New. New zone. It feels different. Okay. Um, I think I went this way last time, and it brought me back. Hmm. God, I have no idea. This might be new. Oh, that's definitely new. I have no idea how deep I am, though. That's new for sure. Okay, this is all, all new. Shit's getting big. Dead end. Uh, getting smaller. Uh, <laughs> none of this feels like it's repeating. It's just endless new shit. I can't even get through that one. Um, Jesus Christ, how big is this? It feels like it goes on forever. Okay, this feels like I'm backtracking now somehow. No, that's different. I haven't seen this yet. I've definitely been here. I think this is going backwards somehow. Oh no, I'm back here? Fuck. Jesus Christ, how big is this? This didn't happen <laughs> Uh, yeah, I definitely went backward somewhat, I think. It's so hard not to get sent backward somehow in the space. Um, I want to go toward, like, the bigger and bigger doors. That's what was, like, encouraging me that I was finding new stuff, but, um, I don't know. There, big door. Big door. It's a dead end. I don't like the look of that. Small door. Uh, that's new, I think. Oh my god, how do I... This is ridiculous. This doesn't feel like it's repeating. It feels like it's just being infinitely generated. Uh. <laughs> There's a sm tiny door again. I'm back. I do love House of Leaves, yes. A noise. Make the noise again. Please make the noise again. I know you're a scary monster that's going to jump scare me, but just make a noise so I know where I'm going. I think there were growling noises in House of Leaves. 
I recall that. Ah, oh, fuck. Where am I now? I want that spiral staircase. My, my eyes are going funny. Okay, this is new. Um, like, what do you... You walk through one door, you get, like, ten new doors that are all, like, at right angles to each other. Oh, this, oh, this may be it. I'm feeling something big coming up. Oh, wait. Just back to this shit. I've seen that. A door. What the fuck? There weren't doors before. How long does it go on? <laughs> That's a tall ass door. A door opened in the distance. Or are they closing? Oh my god. That's so fucking scary. I can't tell what's going on. I think that's just the doors closing behind me. Ugh. I'm unsettled now. The okay. Bottomless pit. Yep. Man. House of Leaves is scary. <laughs> funny. Funny how that's... Staircase. Was anyone else aware that House of Leaves is a pretty scary book? Um... See, most of the scary parts aren't even in the labyrinth, but uh, it's it is it's not pleasant to experience. I have no idea where I am anymore. I have so little idea of where I am. It feels like I've reached some sort of like massive terminal chamber and then just gone back into the new random corridors so many times okay i'm back to the foot of the staircase like how long can it go on for before they give me my spiral staircase that's got to be the end of this right but there's so much bullshit like what's this there's just a little gnome hole here For no reason. Oh. Ooh. This is this is new. I scared myself. <laughs> Accidentally pressed the attack button. Okay, there's nothing here. Cool. That's how I got in. Or is it? Water. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess I'm going for a swim. Fuck, dude. This is spooky. What's at the bottom of that? This is how I get gaster pilled. Save? I'm not saving in here. I don't know if I can get back out. I'll make a new save. Fine. Uh, that looks new. Um... Uh... 
came through that. How long did this take to construct? This feels like it wasn't made by a human anymore. Very big room. Spiral staircase, spiral staircase, spiral staircase. I remember there, there was like a massive room and then the spiral staircase in the book, right? I think that's how it works. This is a pretty big fucking room. Oh god, I don't even know which way I'm going anymore. I think I just follow the grain of the, the floor texture. Ah, oh, my eyes are bugging out trying to see through the darkness here. Oh, okay, wall. Uh, it's just a really big room. Yeah, this is the massive room. I forget where the spiral staircase actually was, though. You just can't see anything. There's no sense of scale. This is the room that Tommy Wiseau was talking about. You're right, it's the one. Chat's all spooked out? I'm spooked out. This is fucked up. Is there anything in this whole room? There might, it might just be an empty room with literally nothing in it. It's like a loading screen. Right down the diagonal. Spiral. Oh. <laughs> I found something. So there's a hole in the middle. Right. Was that the staircase? I didn't see any stairs. It was just a big hole. All that for a hole. Oh yeah. Can I get back to there? It wasn't too far from here, I think. There's here. Yeah, here's the big room. So if I just follow the exact middle of the room, maybe I'll find the hole again. I think it was in like the very middle. That's why I assume anyway. No. <laughs> Who knows if I'll ever find that again. No handrails for that hole. OSHA's gonna have a field day. <laughs> How the fuck did I find it? I, I went diagonally, but... To this side? This game panders to the male fantasy of exploring an endless labyrinth inside your house. Where's the hole? Give me back my hole game, I want it. Um, I'll try the diagonal strat again, see if I can find it somehow. I have no idea what shape this room actually is, whether it's a, a rectangle or not. Okay, it was like here somewhere. The view bobbing does not help. Ugh. There it is. Uh, yeah, there's no stairs. It's just a hole, as far as I can tell. 
Oh, never mind. <laughs> there are stairs. Here we go. I think in the book this went down for like kilometers. Um, this could take a while. Yeah, there's, I think at the bottom, there's just more maze, yeah. I'm not sure any implementation of the back rooms is actually spookier than the original uh, House on Ash Tree Lane concept, honestly. I'm not sure you can really improve on this too much. It's, <laughs> he kind of got it, got it right the first time. I'm gonna get careless and fall off the fucking edge. It's so mind numbing. There's a noise. Great. My reward is a jump scare at the end, probably. Yeah, that's not even the point of the book. That's the funny thing. Like, the most compelling concept in House of Leaves isn't even really what the book's about. It's just a thing that happens to exist. It's, it's kind of hard to say what the book is about precisely. This is how it feels to chew five gum. <laughs> I came to kick ass and explore the Navidson Labyrinth. And I'm all out of Navidson Labyrinth. Robert Downey Jr. bottom text pops up. This implies that Duke Nukem has explored the entirety of the house on Ashtree Lane, a physical impossibility. Now this is content. Notice how I'm not playing uh, Outer Wilds music over this, <laughs> but it was for the ending of Yeek. I I somehow respect the atmosphere here more so than Yeek. Um, remember when the stream was Yeek? I don't. One day. Another noise. It sounds kind of like a ghast, actually. Minecraft ghast. What if I get to the bottom and it's just Shrek again? Completely deflates the entire build-up. It was all for a shit post. It was just Shrek. But he's called Shrek 2 and a, a big boss health bar pops up. And like Dark Souls music, Asylum Demon music starts playing. And uh, it, it recites the entire Shrek is love, Shrek is life, copy pasta in uh, the TikTok text-to-speech voice. At the end, there's Delta Rune Chapter 2.5. <laughs> I hope this is Delta Rune Chapter 7. I hope we're doing this shit. I really do. I hope it goes nuts. There's half an hour of walking down a staircase to meet Gaster. That's the thing. As people say that, you know, if, if Toby reveals Gaster in Deltarune, all the mystery is going to be gone. He can't actually be that impressive. He's not going to live up to it. If, if you get the player to do this beforehand, like walk down a flight of stairs in pitch darkness for 25 minutes, their mind's going to be fucking dripping out of their ears to the point where they're going to be impressed by whatever the fuck you show them. And I'm, I'm not even really joking. I don't mean that Toby's literally going to have a staircase that goes on for half an hour, but um, the way that indie games get to your emotions is by, like, they, they put you on tilt before they deliver their payload. Otherwise, it doesn't land properly. They have to, like, put you through some sort of difficult or uh, upsetting segment first. 
like in um how in Undertale, like before fighting Asgore, you have to walk through all of New Home. You get this like huge emotional lore dump, and then the final boss. And so you're like you're on tilt, and then you fight the final boss, and that's how it um it makes it land properly. Or you, you walk through the true labs and it's like scary and weird, and then you fight Asriel. So I don't know. Finding Gaster in a random room isn't going to be cool, but if we do some crazy shit that 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 already makes you like on edge, and puts you into an emotionally vulnerable state, that's how you make Gaster actually cool. After eight years of fan speculation, in my opinion. Uh, Omori comes to mind. Exactly the same thing that Omori does. That's what I was talking about with the, the indie game big clusterfuck ending is like Outer Wilds does the same thing too. You do something stressful, then you do something confusing, and then they deliver the payload. It's it, They have to like, um, you know, weaken you first and then go for the kill. Omori's really good at that. Does the huge build up to the, the big uh, conclusion. You tried to do that and it, you know, <laughs> you know. Jump, it'll be faster. It, it kills you immediately from what I've seen before. Okay, the noise is back. You think it's looping? I don't know. Yeah, I should go pick up my parents from the airport. I mean, I, I left a bit of buffer time, but... This might just never end. Yeah, let's take a break to look at some art. Oh. Ugh. Hmm. This reminds you of how Radiohead casually made a game that was an amazing mixture of House of Leaves type surrealism with walking simulators, and they did it all to promote their twentieth their album's twentieth anniversary. What is the game? I've never heard of that. <laughs> this leads to the four kings, not even that good of a boss. <laughs> I hope so. I need the Abyss Walker ring to jump down, you're right. Okay. Let's check the art. Uh, there's a lot of it, wow. Okay, there's this. There's no music. Hang on. Let's, uh... <laughs> Outer Wilds comes to the rescue again. Just for some ambiance, I'm sick of the silence, man. It's crushing. Okay. So this one is by Rack City. It's a whole clusterfuck diagram of the Yeek finale. <laughs> Happy New Year! <laughs> That's a uh, crazy looking actually. How did you even make this? Is it just a gift that you made by putting a shit ton of filters over it? Or is this like a base template that you put shit on top of? I want to know how this was made. It's wacky looking. Okay, here's Mooks with the ship art. It's uh pick mix. It's like blingy. I don't know what either of those are, but okay, it's it's software. Cool. Um, this is Mooks' uh, Essentia 2000 X Sweet Cap and Cakes ship art. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, that's a Yeek by Walter. You just wanted to draw Alex Yika Santa. 
I, I gotcha. I know the I know the impulse. It's a good sand to eat. Miller really wants to read House of Leaves, but there's no publishers here that have translated it really expensive otherwise. Don't want to read it digitally. Yeah, it's tough. You really want to read that physically. I'd lend you my book, but it um I I'm not able to throw it that far. That is a Jaru fan art. <laughs> Fake Jaru is like a genie in space. That's also from Walter the Frog. There's no Christmas talk spray. Yeah, damn, it's a scam, really. Are these the two the two dudes at the end? We have Proto Alex and the Essentia. I, I still don't know exactly what any of that was symbolizing. <laughs> um, that's good. Really emphasize the the groin lines on Proto Alex. You love to see it. That's quite an inspired uh, presentation, though. Crazy looking. Okay, here's Doc with uh, Alex's wheelbarrow of spaghetti <laughs> as he marches to the end of the world. That's good. The background is the weirdest looking thing I've ever seen. It's like the skybox and the Lich Dragon Fortisax box fight. God knows how that was generated, but very cool. It symbolizes that sometimes there are robots and people without shirts who rule together and are also the same person. It's a reference to Elden Ring. <laughs> yes. I tricked a whole bunch of be people into drawing Yeet fan art. I really did, yeah. Um, okay, we got one by Skeletal Bozo. Which is like, uh, so that that's an Omori reference up there, is, is Alex <laughs> in white space. There's Alex coming through my computer screen to implicate me in his bullshit. Alex is starting to feel something was a little bit uncanny as his friends are literally like child sketches behind him and uh, of course the giant meatball. Everyone's favorite eat character, Meatball Joe. Fuck, Andrew Prolo, can you turn that down just a bit, thanks. Oh, Doc actually did post the background of that image, huh? Oh my god! Oh my god, this edit. Holy shit. I, I made this comment that the, the computer in the Doom map looked like the one that Alex came through. <laughs> now it's like the, the triple Mobius reach around. That's fucking horrifying. I hate it. No, there's a di <laughs> It gets worse. <laughs> it just keeps looping. It's the same fucking image. That's so unpleasant. They're so similar! Yuck! That's uh, the Rack City did that again. No, no, there's a third one. <laughs> Fuck, that's, that hurts my brain, dude. That hurts. Oh, that's some really nice art, actually. Tr trunky stream art. It's just some, some Sammies and some Essentias. That's quite nice, actually. One of the more flattering depictions of Yeek we've seen so far. You hope Andy Hammy notices? Who the fuck is that? Wait, are these like... The Rack City's done like 10 pieces of fan art. These are crazy looking. I was going to say it's like Minecraft models, but they're they're weirder than that. It's like you fused the styles of Roblox and Don't Starve into one art style. It's really fucked up, but cool. You're possessed by the spirit of Yeek, well clearly. Oh my god, it keeps happening. Look at this shit. <laughs> what? Claudio, Chandra, where the fuck are we? Yeek Traveler, coming soon. I think we're in the Navidson record. I studied this in college. 
not House of Leaves. Uh, oh, he's actually holding a gun for some reason. Yeah. In Alex's reality, they actually they read the Navidson record itself um, as the object of study. Is that Fanner? I don't think so. Oh, here's the outside. Oh boy. What we got here. I've got a train to stop reality from being destroyed. <laughs> the training plays out. He's sleeping all day. Like he's uh, clinically depressed. <laughs> the contrast, right? Like, what, what did they think would happen in those last... They gave you like 30 days to do everything in the game, but you could do it in one day if you wanted to. I'm assuming that's a self-portrait. Oh, it's, and it's just like big into whatever the fuck the game is doing. This is a comic strip? <laughs> oh, this is more training. The training arc is continuing here. And involves all the sleeping shit posting on 4chan. <laughs> continuing to train. There was something disturbingly familiar about the voice on the other side of the phone. You're in a computer game, Alex. Is that King Crimson? <laughs> I don't even know what that's a reference to, actually. D disturbingly familiar? What is that? It's not the, um, it's a voice you've never heard before. Or is that just the actual dialogue from Yeek? I don't know. That might just be the actual dialogue. It's that one Shinji Summer comic? Is this like a secret Evangelion reference? Oh, it's Max Payne. Okay. I, I don't know that one, but... <laughs> shlop, 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 shlop. <laughs> okay, I gotta, gotta, gotta keep moving. The truth was a burning green crack through my brain. UI elements hanging in the air, glimpsed out of the corner of my eye, unexplained random encounters in the overworld, endlessly slowing down time to cheat the combat system, the paranoid feel of someone controlling my every step, and many, many plot holes. I was in Yeek, a postmodern RPG. Funny as hell, it was the most horrible thing I could think of. That's probably really profound if you know the reference. Oh, I see, that, that was a subcomic. The Max Payne. That's probably like the ending of Max Payne right there I just read. Oh, the left one is Shinji. <laughs> I get it now, okay. And that's fucking... Alex Yeek and Jaru Jaru. That's him. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What a degenerate stream. <laughs> this? <laughs> Every the fucking boomer shooter's easy mode. You are homosexual. You like men. You suck cock for fun. That's good. That's really good. And Shrek. Doing the, the fucking... The mic face from the end of chapter 2? Are you serious? That That's totally the mic smile from the end of chapter 2. Or the Tenna smile, or whatever you want. It's the Tenna smile, probably. Jesus Christ, that, that's a lot of bangers outs, and you really saturated the bangers there. Holy fuck. Toby invented smiles. That's totally the same smile. It's totally the same smile. Oh my god. I'm fucking reeling from that, but I really gotta go and get to the airport now, so um, I'll, I'll sign off rather abruptly. Weird-ass stream, but cool. Uh, we sure did yeek, and I'll see you next week and probably read some weird ship fiction that people on my Discord wrote about Asriel and Pizza Pants. Because that's my life now. See you, everyone. Adios.